noises. Hey kids, welcome back to the Unlisted Thoughts Podcast. <laughs> Today I'm with my co-host, ah, and, and the Deputy welcome Assistant to First to Secretary, Dabagai. Hey, hello, Abagai. Boy. Oh, I forgot to do denoising on him last time. Taking the law, it's hitting someone. Well, you'll be liable. Oh, oh, you're responsible for your own actions. Whoa, wacky fun. Whoa. Oh boy, I sure like being responsible for things. <laughs> Christ, that star annoys me. I don't like this star. Let's destroy it. Here you go. Here's a star. Who's the like. supernova? <laughs> no, screw you. Whoa. I don't like that star, sir. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me fundamentally scared. Hey! This lady is going to kill me. Well, why don't you just stop verbating? No, why don't you just stop I don't think old people should be allowed to drive, honestly. That is probably safer for everyone. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um, like what? They have like the worst job. Well, how, would you, how would you do it though? Would you? Would it be mandatory testing every 10 years after the age of 70 or after 60? I think, I think, I think what Japan did was the smartest oh, what did they thing. Do? Actually, you know what they did know. to get rid of it? They offered free cheap meals for their senior citizens. Hold up, hold up. So tell me, me, when I hit like 75, I'll think, do I want to keep my driver license or do I want free cheap meals? Yeah. I'll choose free cheap meals. Uh... <laughs> Did I get delivered straight to my house? If so, then there's no reason to leave the house anymore. I don't know. But I think I just parked horribly. That's fine. You're not recording oh. your camera reveal, so we can't judge. Oh, the shit, did I drop the voice? Whoops. Whoa! Wacky parking job, sir! Good job on your parking job! I made it 10 out of 6! No, it's... So hard is on the line. <laughs> uh oh, are you gonna get back in and fix it? No? Okay. <laughs> Keep going What's on then. Doing? Shut up. <laughs> Alright, now I'm in. Just barely, but I'm in. Oh boy. You didn't scratch your car. You win two points. Right. Who's now Michelle Volan? The Honorable Michelle Volan MP. She's not honourable yet. Not yet. Oh shit, did I, did I preempt an election? She's not honourable <laughs> as of right now. <laughs> Miss Michelle Rowland MP, member of Greenway, is the current member for Greenway. We haven't been elected in 2016, I believe. Because 2015 was a wipeout and also um, election She's been MP since 2010. 2010, damn it. But 20... Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I thought Greenway... Wait, that was two thousand. Was that two thousand seven? Uh, finally, you sound a little bit better. I'm going to drop. Yeah, because my headphones wouldn't connect for some reason. I think because they. Oh, my the back! Head. My back! My back! My back! You always sound like an old man. I feel so embarrassed right now, though. I think I sent my lecture an email using my hundred percent human account instead of my junior <laughs> account. And you know what? He did not point it out. So good on him. <laughs> he just. Or maybe he just knew you were one hundred percent human. That and also or I did sign off with, with, with my real name, though. So. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, that's like what I'm actively afraid of. I did it, and he didn't. My point personal it out. email and my university email yeah. getting mixed up. Look, the good news is, no, no, hold on. This is the second worst account for me to swap. But he did not pay attention to it. Because I thought some smart lecturers just don't apply to emails that don't end in the uni edu. I don't blame them. Oh. But this guy, he's cool. He has a hat. Alright. You're gonna trip over and die. Wait. I'm trying to remember where it was. Okay, I can't I remember. Weird. For that once, I'm not the weird asshole in Sydney talking to myself. <laughs> it's now this guy. Alright, we're on our way. We're on our way, dun dun. I'm an intro, yeah. he's an intro. Yeah, Vladimir Zelensky, he, he looks a bit different than I remember. He's not wearing um, fatigues anymore, isn't he? Yeah. Good on him, he's going back to business suits. <laughs> if he's in fatigues, in my eyes, he's commander in, sorry, supreme commander in chief. He's not the commander yeah. in chief, he's the supreme commander in chief. He's cool. Unlike some USA and some Robert Wayfield. You know what? This is actually a good idea. 
Uh, I'm gonna check if anyone's actually in there. Ask them for flags. No, uh... <laughs> no. Hey, but, uh... Yeah, it, it, doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter who's in there, just ask for flags. <laughs> the guy needing help with his Centrelink payments, Argent... Is there a flag flags. for Seven Hill? Yes, totally. Um... <laughs> I'm still curious though, like, how, what what would happen if I contacted a regional senator for help? <laughs> and then they're technically my senator. There's no senate yeah. electorate other than the state of New South Wales. Or some other state. We may not be in New South Wales. Anyway, like, it could, could be. Who knows? Who cares? Oh, Christ. What, what do you mean my capital's at risk? God damn it. Yeah, it's going to be overrun by the enemy. Like, you want to know the best email I've just seen in a long time? And it's not me sending them my email address, wrong email address to my lecturer. That's <laughs> kids at kids. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to know you. Kids at kids. <laughs> really good. You want to yeah. know what that is? That is the Office of News Hour's Advocate for Children and Young People. Wow. I don't get why they didn't use a superior acronym of, of on the onsip. I don't know why they didn't use that. I, I don't get it. <laughs> no, I don't know why they didn't just call themselves Onsip. I am Onsip, yes, yes. But no, they had to call themselves bloody the kids. Andre, watch out for that tree! Mate, you nearly hit that tree. Christ. I know you're walking. I'm just scared that you hit the tree. I'm gonna assume Arjun is now dealing with like real people, so he has to stay quiet. <laughs> I can't send a photo. There are people looking at me weird. But I don't care, because I have no shame. Tell them that you have terroristic intentions. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, I knew I wasn't insane. <laughs> That's a very having Western Sydney you. care for you taking over the building. Wait, Arjun, who's that person to the right? What office that is? That real estate? Across the road. Oh, that's Michael Vasily. Oh, that's Michael Vasily. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you there? Here. You're there. <laughs> you bastard. You're there. Yeah, I know. I know that there's one here. Yeah, why don't Look, you go in? Wait, wait. Find here. Here. Wait. <laughs> go in. I hope they don't sue me for this. I hope they sue you for this. They'll get you legal experience. <laughs> I don't know why, but he's a local hero. He should yeah, run he full is. Greenway. Uh, <laughs> he might <Yeah>. win. <laughs> oh Christ! I thought I was distracted by something. Um, <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I I feel like Michael Vasily is like the Western Sydney version of Franco Cozzo. Oh, comment. Anyway, well, like I was gonna point out something. Okay. So I have yeah. here the Health Professional Council's Authority, which I don't think they call themselves. Oh my god, it's going to take ages to download. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Anyway, so I have here the state, sorry, the New South Wales Health Professional Council's Authority, right? Your, mm. your photo makes it look like this is the peak of lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have here an army of signatures from presidents and deputy presidents. I, li I like that you need the deputy president's signature as well, because if you don't have the deputy president's signature, how do we know? If, how, how can we trust you? Yeah. And there's so what many, think of the ad? so many councils. Look how many health councils there are. There's a. Probably, this is probably how you choose your medical profession. Do you want to join the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Practice Council, the Chinese Medicine Council, the Chiropractic Council, the Dental Council? Have you have you read his? The medical council. We're gonna keep going. The medical council. The council council. The council 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 council. The podiatry council. I don't know how to pronounce words. <laughs> Arjun, have you ever wanted to just complain about your doctor to uh, to the government and then just leave? Cause I haven't. That'd be weird. <laughs> you okay, they work. You haven't been to giggles. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm on the website for. I, I don't know if this is actually. It says Michael Vicini Barrett is solicitor, but the URL is just cinelawfirst.com.au. First lawyer. We When you care about people, and they've got the Amazon cover. Can you pass me their. Can you pass me the URL to their about page, please? About. About us or about to Michael Vasili? Yes. Yes. Did Keon kick Arjun or did Arjun leave? No, no, they have. Seven Hill Center has like a. The worst has like an internet damper where it like cuts my connection. What if they have an internet black spot? They just yeah. stand there and there's <laughs> like... no internet. I feel like there's only one photo of Michael Vasily. It's the one we've all <laughs> seen. Just, they just use us everywhere. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, Christ. Shit. <laughs> He's surrounded. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh no, actual people. Not not weird. Oh, I don't no. even, that's definitely I thought the... Woolies was closed. <laughs> Wait, he ha- he has the thing, what do you call that? The soul no is there a soul patch? What do you call it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I hate those. Anyway, uh I I want I was gonna make a sexist comment, so I won't. Anyway, uh let's go to Michael Vasili's barristers and solicitors. What the hell's lawyers for kids? Oh yeah, he actually has two photos. That one that he uses everywhere and this one. I can't believe I met him in person. Anyway, uh <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got I've got he did do the mock trial yep. one. I just remember him using his phone all the time all the time during Yeah, he he did not want to be there. He Hey, it's pro bono. No, it wasn't. What, was he paid? That's not how pro bono works. Oh, he wasn't paid. Was he? So? Yeah. Pro bono means you're giving a legal service. He was not giving a legal service. Oh, fine. He did it for free. He just lost two hours of his night, that's all. <laughs> lost? Arjun, we borrowed his time. We need to give it back. Hold up. I'm actively afraid he'll one day sue us for the time loss that he we can't get. Though, he doesn't remember our names. Does he even, we can ask he even the school. remember what's cool? I, we can ask the school to blank their records. He's got three phone numbers. What if the school doesn't exist? What if I make the school cease existing? I, I I don't know. I don't I don't think you should fear him. I think you should embrace him. If I was you. <laughs> you should accept the silly Michael. Are you say you're saying you basically feel about him the way I feel about Philip Lowe. <laughs> okay, I I haven't embraced the Lowe yet, but I I might. I don't know, he he's out of a job in two to three years, isn't he? Whoever wins the election gets I, inside the next governor. He can always I, get up on his feet. Oh, I know. I, I, <laughs> oh, what the hell? I was expecting Michael Vasily, not Carlos. Who's Carlos? <laughs> is he? Is he? Uh, is he not Michael Vasily? He, he's not. Hold on, let me watch this. Hi again, it's Carlos. At Michael Vasily Barristers and Solicitors, we understand that the cost of legal services can be a major concern for clients. That is why we can discuss a range of different strategies and cost options for your matter, and we always discuss costs. Our first interview, people. Except two of them. Why is he standing in the void? What the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'm not, he's not like oh a, my god! He's just standing William, in the void. He was our primordial ancestor. <laughs> he was there before the gods. I can't believe he did you think his, his previous URL was cityprosecutor.com. I. But he's not a prosecutor. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why he changed it. Why are they standing in the void? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> 
Hi again, it's Carlos. At my Hi, it's Missy, one of the family law team at Michael. I Why do I think he just hired people on Fiverr to do this? Because they put. <laughs> it has that people... vibe, doesn't it? Yeah, and also because. They're standing in the void. The two... <laughs> and because of the two videos I clicked, both of them had American accents. Why are they in the void? <laughs> like, they're not in Australia, they're in the void. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can we just have Michael Vasily zooming in on the background or something? Why are they in the yeah. void? Why are Michael Vasily's only subscriptions to the New South Wales Land and Property Information? Why is Lexus, the about page Nexus, empty? Australia, ABC TV and Why is the about page empty, though? Jesus Christ. You know, it's sad that Unlisted Force has gotten more subscribers. So now we keep, we keep going around saying, Oh, Unlisted Force has more subscribers than they do. <laughs> Michael Vasily. I am saddened. <laughs> Arjun, yeah. you found Michelle Rowland's office. Have you gone shopping yet? Have you gone to Woolies? Have you beaten up Woolies? I'm at Woolies. Wait, you're at IGA? Oh, I'm at Woolies. Oh, yeah. I... Who wears the IGA? People who feel sorry for them. They're like basically the most expensive chain. Uh, that's because they, they don't have the economy of scale as the big one. No. Uh, Christ. An independent chair. Real ones know when they used to be called uh, Franklins. Uh, oh yeah. I, remember. I used to go to Franklins. I never been to IGA <laughs> though. Well, like it pains me that I can see the rim lighting. Or oh, sorry, not the rim lighting. The lighting in his eyes. It hurts me. <laughs> they look fake. Because <laughs> I can see lighting. I'm just gonna put this here. Maybe he's just trying to create an effect as if he still has a soul left. <laughs> well, you want to guess what? Oh, let me see what his previous job was. He he is now the executive vice president, global head, mm -hmm. infrastructure and renewable resources. Yeah, he probably doesn't have a soul anymore. He sold it. Yeah. Not to the devil, but to himself. Yeah. <laughs> At a higher price. <laughs> oh, Christ. He was a general manager mm -hmm. of business services. I'm going to tell my kids that's Anastasia Palaszczuk. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why? What did you just... Where you get that from? What the hell? From the, uh, from, from the ad I sent in earlier. <laughs> before before the Michael Vasily stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link. That's me. <laughs> Wait, is that unironic? I can't tell. That is unironic. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Arjun, you should walk around being a cool YouTuber. Hey guys. Hey guys, I'm Arjun. Uh, and today, we're gonna beat up some Woolies workers. What? <laughs> Just thinking about that hurts. That's messed up, Arjun. Those Woolly workers, they work really hard for the amount of pay they get. No. I think they're paid quite well, if I remember. Hey, look. Australia is paid really well. I don't think that that whole thing... Maybe that works in America, but not here. Oh. We have like the second highest minimum yeah, wage is, in the you, world. But you can't live. You can't buy an apartment and live alone on minimum wage, though. Yes, you can on full time. Yes, you can. I mean, on full time. Oh shit, you can't. But you can't get full time hours here, right? Isn't it? Isn't it casual? You'll be lucky. Yes, you can. For like, who's telling you to work as a casual? I am. Yeah, obviously that's like saying that's like saying, uh. To telling a 16 year old part timer now that he can buy a house. <laughs> they can if they're rich. I have a smaller pack. <sighs> Mate, just accept it. Costs are changing. No? Oh no. I, I think it's very reasonable to be able to rent an apartment. Depends where though. Doesn't it? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I'm not saying get a CBD apartment. Yeah, but how far out from the city do you have to go then, in your opinion? Oh my god. You can definitely get an apartment in Blacktown for like 400, 500. Yeah, that's realistic, yeah. You can see that's what, what changed in 30 years. That's depressing work. That's really depressing. Flag that's really depressing. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's <is> really sad. <laughs> well, you look like a fire waiting to happen. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> like, like, like thirty years ago, it looked like I had hope. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Forty years yeah. ago, it was an opportunity. Nowadays, it's just a like fire hazard. What the hell? Yeah, but I really like how the Italian flag rusted. That's depressing, mate. Yeah. That's utterly depressing. Christ. That is sad. What the hell? That's... I hope you can find <laughs> us something more happy than that, because that's sad. This is the another ad from 1985. <laughs> they just have a different vibe, right? Yeah. Wait. Okay. That is just sad. I, I... <laughs> so I, can't, I, I just like how his name is in the bottom. I, I, the third Let, from I need to people. deafen before I watch. Franco Cotto means furniture, and furniture means Franco Cotto. If it's furniture you have to buy, Franco Cotto is not far away. Se i migliori mobili volete comprare oggi, domani e sempre, da Franco Cozzo dovete andare a Brunswick e Footscray. Comprate da Franco Cozzo. At Franco Cozzo, you'll find the latest furniture from Milano's exhibition, such as this beautiful leather lounge, Barocca lounges, classical bedroom suites, and handcrafted dining rooms, which includes a Venetian... Footscray, comprate... Bye. Like, like, do you think he will, he will do any legal thing if I just download these videos and put them in all the supports as the in between games videos. <laughs> yes, put the yeah put these as the ads in the in between games. <laughs> well, you know, do ads are being paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's quite It's the two thousand five one. Which Franco if you Cotto look at the means furniture one and furniture and means Franco Cotto. If it's furniture you have to buy Franco Cotto is not far away. Yeah. My video is playing compare. Okay that one. Sorry. Uh, Arjun, I'm glad you're going out right now when it should be... Isn't it? No, it's, no, in two hours it's going to be a bit harder. Sorry, but... Okay, if you pay attention between the 2005 one and 2018 one, those are the exact same set of cabinets. Christ. I went to Woolworths to buy three things, William. I came without a bag, and I looked you're weird. You're an idiot. <laughs> I have to pay I 10 bought... cents for a new bag. <laughs> yeah, just buy I a new bought... bag. Yeah, no, this is what I bought. I bought noodles, yeah. coke, and spring onions. You're living the uni student life, mate. I wasn't being, I wasn't joking. Arjun, oh, you know what we do? We keep bags in the trunk, Arjun. That's what you should do. My dad has bags in the trunk. I forgot it. I went to take a photo of Michelle Rowland, remember? <laughs> okay, fair point. <laughs> Noodles are so cheap that it should worry my health that it, they're that cheap. No, don't look at the ingredients though, you might feel bad after eating them. It happened to me before. It's 100% MSG. <laughs> it's I don't mind MSG. MSG MSG has been... Bad mouth. What happened to MSG is just racism. You wanna, you wanna There's nothing it? wrong with MSG. No, I read a paper on the reason why MSG was so hated and hit against was just because it was an Asian American thing. Oh, and it 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 it's not not nearly as bad as people say it for food. You saying it's not? It's probably other things worse for you that you're already eating. Is what you're trying to say? Bacon is worse. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. No, I meant your noodles were one hundred percent a New York arena. <laughs> That's in Square Garden. <laughs> You're almost correct. You eat it, you, you feel an angry noodle. I think Yorker. MSG is great. I buy MSG. <laughs> you snort it. <laughs> MSG is like the greatest thing that's ever existed. You know what? Arjun, you're right. You're entirely right. Yeah, you're right. You're wholly right. It's just... Can you imagine how good KFC was if they had MSG? You know? You're right, Arjun. This is just specifically targeting East Asian people. With some xenophobia. Jesus Christ. So you're telling me just some... Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. No, 
yeah, that, that's I did not know the full story, but 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 Christ, you 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 you, you have rehabilitated the image. Not just shame. I shall I shall buy, I shall just put spoonfuls of MSG. In my... <laughs> Inject it into your veins. Can you imagine if if uh, what do you say? Uh... I totally forgot what I was going to say. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, said the doors that way. I'll get your coat. But uh, we're going to ignore off that and talk about the real important issues in Australia. And that is Anthony Green being sidelined for traffic. No. Well, but uh, um, Anthony Albanese, he, he stumbled, according to the ABC. He can't name cash or unemployment rate. Y- yes. Let me try. I'll try and name both of them. Cash rate, yep. if I remember, is. 0.25 and unemployment 4%. Those are my answers. I hope I got it correct. Hang on. Wait. Uh... Damn it! I said 0.15 or something. Cash rate 0.1. Zero... Is that 0.25? No, cash rate is 0.1%. I'm an idiot. I can't oh. remember. And unemployment, That's my guess is 4%. Well. That is very, that is the lowest it's ever been in history. And my guess for unemployment was 4% because I hear the government's been bragging and you're about correct. it. Yeah, the government's been bragging about it. Do I know the price of petrol? I did not look out the window last week, so no. Uh, do I know let the me price just of milk? Let me I can tell you right now. Go on. It is unleaded E10 is 157.9. I got premium. <laughs> uh, look, look at this guy, premium. Right. This Caltex is one for our premium. Get yeah, my Corolla doesn't need anything like that. Is it your my Corolla, Corolla or is it your dad's Corolla? I never asked her. It's my dad's. It's my okay. dad's. Not... <laughs> no, I'm not just being a dickhead. Hey, but I'm in the insurance papers. Oh, you are? Yes. Yes. By the way, I found out that my dad has to pay like 25% more just because I'm under the age of 25. Yeah. It should... But Arjun, it, 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 this, the better you prove yourself as a safe driver, your, your insurance premiums will, will be lower in the future. You're not dangerous, yeah. is what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, that's I'm not driving very safe right now. You're driving right now? Oh, Christ. I'm like 10 kilometers above the speed limit. Cool. And you're telling me that. What are you going to do? I'm going to call the police. <laughs> sure, by the time you do, I'd already be home. And by, the time I, by the time I finish the call, they'll be at your house as well. So, <laughs> ignore that. What are they going to do? They have to catch me in the act. They can't just issue tickets without. I have dirt on you, sir. Off the other dirt. I know. All right, now comes the roughest thing. Entering my driveway is so hard because I'm on the highway. I didn't hear any of the last words. Was was it because your schedule just rear end you because you have to slow down? Yeah. Yeah. This is my greatest fear. Just step on the brakes, and if someone hits you. Insurance. That's not how it works. Are you sure? My mum hit... Someone hit my mum while she was driving in the car. Like punched her? No, no, no. (laughs) Drive by punching. Like T ended her. Yeah. Oh, Christ. When it comes in on the side. That's not normal. That guy actually paid... Like... Paid people off and pretended to be people and called the insurer to he say my mom paid people off to pretend to be people. Here, dog, here's no. a fiver. Here's your top hat and a phone. No. <laughs> he paid people to lie. And he also pretended to be other people and fake called the insurer saying okay. that it was my mom's fault. That's messed up and that's really dedicated. No, no one we ever had to deal with was ever that dedicated. Um, I don't know. Insurance is I don't know why he thought it was going to expensive. It was a Camry. We only have two cars, a Camry and a Corolla. Okay. So, the idea that he phoned in, I was saying, hi, I am explicitly not this person, but I am a witness, yes. <laughs> hmm, the witness and the person who got involved has a very similar voice. Now, luckily, though, insurance companies have so many people on the call center, so that would never happen, luckily, that the person would recognize the voice. <laughs> so, so he's smart like that. Audrey, why didn't you do the same thing? Why didn't your family just ask you to coin as, I don't know, Jeffrey Hollowitz and say, I'm Jeffrey Hollowitz and because I saw that person T Bone? Okay, <laughs> I like that. I, I appreciate you have some integrity. I appreciate that. 
I, I respect that sort of thing. Ignoring all of that, but the idea of the guy just going to a pigeon saying, Pigeon, may you please call them and tell them I was not liable, I was not at fault for this one. That pigeon said, Sure thing, sir. The hell are you talking about? Huh? He paid people to be, he paid people to act like people. Thanks for whoever did that. Someone oh. moved us because they have evil powers. Evil powers. Mm. I don't know who keeps doing that. I just hit my bike with a car. Yeah. Do you have insurance for the bike? <laughs> it's like a 10 year old bike. I got it from, like, you know the bike shop outside West Point? No. Black Man's Bicycle or whatever it was called. Silence. Pure silence. No, it was Black Man's Cycle or something. We're going like to go that. there and find out just a burnt husk of a shop and Arjun got a haunted bike. No, they've been going steady for like 15 years. They, they have been there for so long. I know there's a computer shop in front of West Point on the same side as Chemist Warehouse. I don't know about that. At least I think it's a computer shop. What the hell shop. is that? I think it's a computer shop. Are you talking about the one like on the road to West Point? No, at West Point, like on the front um, train station side. I I have never seen that. You have never seen West Point? Okay. I'll show you a picture. No, I, go, I used to go from West Point through the train station thing every day. And you're telling me that there's a computer shop there. Yeah. You're gaslighting. Arjun, every t you can't just call it gaslighting. You're just wrong. You can't do that. You're gaslighting me. I only mm. gaslight two people. One is the Bishop of Argyle. Those are the two people. Me and me. <laughs> you are two people. Every time something happens which I can't remember, you're always gaslighting. Yeah, because it did happen. Oh, they're not a computer shop. I think they're a porn shop. As in, you just give... Oh, I know they're a computer shop. Yeah. You take care of a computer shop. Ah, uh, because what a computer shop and a porn shop sells are no different. No, they, they sell no, it is a pretty much shop. the same thing. His name is IT365 Computers. If that does not mean computer shop, I'm an idiot. William, William, <laughs> William, no, no, there's no shame in it, okay? I've confused computers and dildos so many times. <laughs> no! I, I, I just... Hey, you look at yeah. it, I sent you a screenshot. What porn shop spells I'm, gigabytes? I'm in the car, I can't look at my phone. That's I'm right, you can't. Let's laugh at him work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like I'm holding a big floppy dick. But I, <laughs> I, I never would have seen the word hardware before, but I hope it's something I can buy. But that's... Well, okay, you, you, you see the screenshot I sent you, right? Um... Oh, sorry, not sent you. Call my boys. That's a computer shop. Yeah. I've yes. never been in it. I just know it's a computer shop. I only clear though. Is that a typo? I've never entered Hardware? a computer shop in my life. Other than JW. Same. I went to JW. Yeah, to I get think my that's a typo. Uh, well, next time we go there in person, I need to look for the typo in person. That's but a they good don't computer shop. have the refurbished crap there. JW? Sometimes, yeah. They have refurbished stuff. All right. Tends to be poorly priced. That's bad news. Have you died? I don't find my house keys. <laughs> I have them here in my pocket. Sorry, please just take them out. It's now a, I'm, it's a, did I leave it at the shopping center? Wait, hold on. Did you pay using your are, car? Is, your are your car keys? Oh, wait, are your car keys not attached? Oh, no, they wouldn't be attached to your house keys. Given that. They're not attached. Yeah, they wouldn't be. I... No, because my pockets are so full. Like, they're so small. But I put everything into the same pocket. So I'm grabbing my wallet. No. Did I... Did I drop it? I was at the self serve place. No one would have known. Damn it. I, I told you, I have your key. Then you want me to just give it back to you or not? No? I'll keep it then. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I found it. I found okay. it. Because I was, I was going to think how many there. times has Arjun locked himself out of his house on voice call. Twice. Um, but Arjun, there's a computer shop, you dickhead. I found it. Did you underestimate my ability of losing it? It is so prevalent. Uh, I feel like I've, I've talked to you guys so many times when I've been locked out of my house. That's what I would do now, yeah. <laughs> because I forget my keys everywhere. 
You should give Boyk a spare. He 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 can ship it to your house. <laughs> my my dad like got mad at me like when I lost it like a couple of years ago. He said he will never go back to a key smith. He said if I lose the key, he's not, I'm not getting a new key. What the hell? <laughs> Man. So if I lose it, I have no way of going back in from now on until dad comes. And I said like fine. You should wait until your family comes back from India. That's the plan. They don't have the keys either. Oh, well, then, well, well, then they're stuck, <laughs> aren't they? No, I like to if see I lose it. those keys, my dad is the only one who can enter. We're all at the whim. I oh. like to think Arjun has lost so many keys. There are more people that have keys than Arjun's family. Yeah, that is very realistically <laughs> possible. It's funny though, because now we're gonna have a, a two hour long movie of Arjun going to quest to cover all of the keys. He comes in with it's seven. Not just me, okay? It runs in the family. Yeah, that's the thing. My though. mom, <laughs> my, my mom lost her phone in, in Blacktown Library, and she just never got it back. I appreciate that. You, there's uh, not gonna be a two hour long action movie of you just trying to find all your keys. My, my dad goes all. to Bunnings because he's like the dad and builds and fixes things. Mm-hmm. And um, he, I remember once he bought like a screw drill, like you know the automatic screw driver drills. Yeah, sure. Mm, yeah, sure. He lost that in a week. We still haven't found it. <laughs> well, he lost a whole, like the whole drill. We don't know where it is. <laughs> you can't lose that sort of thing, though. You we, can only we, misplace okay, it. We legitimately can't find it. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. Did someone is is it on the roof? No, it, it was like to fix something in the toilet, and it's just gone missing. We can't find it. And that wasn't even recent. That was like four years ago. Did you flush it? What happened? I don't know. That's my dad, not me. I don't know. Before we know, you have it. That's what I'm saying. It order. runs in the family. Arjun, it's not I'm a asking you because when you thing. Thing. you're going to lose your electronic um, screwdriver, whatever. What's it called? Power drill. You know, one day lose your power drill. <laughs> I lost my DS dock. My 3DS dock. How you told me you lost your DS, I would have believed you. No, my 3DS dock. And my DS light. Yeah, I did lose my DS Jesus light. Christ. I won't comment. That's just how we roll. <laughs> getting through. At, at least now your community now have a DS light and, and a drill. <laughs> And, and like your keys. And I don't think my dog owns it. My dog has found it like outside in the backyard. Your dog ate the drill. Wait, was your dog going to dogs who caught up the insurance company and acted like a person? No, um. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what he did. He <laughs> went against my family. You need to get a better dog, mate. Um, and ignore that, though. When I was a. Ah. No, I want to become a justice of the peace just so that I can be one. But just so you can have post nominal. That too. Yeah, but you need someone to sponsor you. I need that. Like and for that one, I need to show that there's a community need for justice of the peace. It's quite hard doing that if no one in the community knows I exist. What do you mean? There are so many people who have to do it for their PR. Good on them. Immigrants need justice of the peace. They do, but... Right? But yeah, they do. But that they got an existing justice of the peace to do that. I need to become a justice of the peace. I Are you sure? To... Every time I go to Blacktown Library, that there, there's always lines of people waiting. I think they could use more. They could use more, but I try. But the state handles justice of the peace applications to become a one. Ah, oh, Christ! So here's I'm a, just apply. Here's, yeah, I'm just gonna apply. Here's the eligibility. Are you ready? You need to be at least 18. You need to be nominated by your New South Wales MP or a New South Wales MP. Any of them, I guess. You need to be able You're to telling me all those people in Blacktown Library know an MP. That would have just contacted the lecturer saying, Can you nominate me? And the guy said yes. Because they have no reason to say no. I also must be of good character and must not be bankrupt. The last part might be might be a bit hard. Now but, but part of the application process is asking your MP to nominate you. I think that's automated. What counts as good character? You haven't you're not convicted of any horrendous crimes. Without all you already served your time. Good character? That just means I haven't done anything illegal. Probably. So here's the other part of the application. Um, I need to provide proof of identities, which can be a driver license or photo ID. Date of, uh, proof of date of birth, which can be passport or birth certificate. 
And proof of my legal name, which can be birth certificate, citizenship, passport, or driver license. That's going to be a handicap. Uh, next one, prove that I have Australian citizenship. Next one, contact details for two character referees. People can attest that I am of good character. Next one, if I want to be a community justice of the peace and not like a job one or something, not like for my workplace, I need to demonstrate that the community needs me. <laughs> <laughs> and why there's a need for JP services in the community, in my section of the community. People need to get the documents verified. Yeah, and if I'm doing for work one, I need a copy from my employer saying that they need a JP, basically. And if I've convicted any committed any criminal convictions, including um, traffic offences that went to court, I need to disclose those. Next, I need to select a member of the New South Wales Parliament. I don't understand why people go to court for traffic offences. They, they, I feel mean, like it's a losing battle. They really just a lot of people pay. do it, but I just think it's a losing really, battle. Well, no, my mum went to do it because she didn't really want to lose her license because she may have not gone one too many traffic. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I was thinking of like a parking fine. Yeah, no, no, this, this, this is just speeding sort of thing. Anyways, as part of the application, New South Wales member, you, you select a new member of New South Wales Parliament to nominate you or to consider nominating you. They said you should select the MP representing where you live. I'm not going to do that. Wait, so the MP is not MLC? She's in Seven Hills. They say member of the New South Wales Parliament. They say member of the New South Wales Parliament, so it could be MLC. Hmm. Okay. If the MP design, declines to nominate you, they'll, they'll, um, the JP will, well, the agency will help you out. Um... Oh, they warned you that thanks to flooding in New South Wales, it may take longer for MPs or honourable MPs to to consider you as the Justice of the Peace. Why? Are they all underwater? Yes. What's happening there? Um, the office of Janelle Safin, member for, Safin, member for Lismore, she says there will be significant delays. So be careful if you wanted to be a Lismore JP. So you want to be a Lismore JP, you contact another MP, is what they're advising. Grace Tame Comedy Festival? Hmm? Is she a comedian? I didn't know. I never. Wait, is she a comedian? I don't know if she is. I don't know why, but that was trending. Next one. And after all those applications are done. Okay. She, she went to a, a comedy festival just to make fun of Scott Morrison. I appreciate that. That, that, that That's easy joking, though. It's not hard. Next part. St step four. Go to your local court and do the oath. Man, she hates Scott Morrison. She yeah. just. They're, they're not hates. on good terms. They're not on good terms, no. Um, next one, take your oath at the local court. And now you're a real JP for five years. What do you have to do to renew it? Uh, let me check. The show featured a panel of comedians who addressed serious topics in a hilarious way, including climate change, housing affordability, misinformation, social media, Australia Day, and gender equality. So what you do it, you need I to... I like that these people seem to think that Labour will change anything. No, they would I just actively stuff. think no matter who goes in, some stuff, though. Australia is in this way that no one can change it. No, there are things we can change, though. Do, do you not think Medicare... But, will like, house affordability? Change? House affordability? That one is... What the hell is the government going to do to change that? Subsidies. I cannot think subsidies of Subsidies for low-income earners or something. Rent assistance. I don't know. Those happen. Though. I mean, like, that's the last thing in the government's mind. More public housing? Yeah, that yeah, but those are state responsibilities. Uh, yeah, no, no, the government, federal government, can just do subsidies basically, uh, and encourage state governments to build more public housing or make more housing available for. Buildings. Maybe it's because I don't care. Maybe because I'm just so middle average. No, what you really hear though, uh, what you hear though, is you what you hear intended goals. What you don't hear is the programs or their their causal mechanisms to cause these changes, right? You want, so this one says, uh, I don't know. I, I just like to think that I'm just so average that no matter who it is, it doesn't really affect me. Oh, that's not average. Then. That, that means you're quite well off <laughs> to not be affected. Is that what it means? I thought it meant like I'm not rich enough to be poor no, there's two by types either of one of these people. There are people who and work... I'm not poor enough to yeah. be affected but by no, the there people. Are people who work so so I'm average. Care less. There's people I'm who work just too much. average. They don't care. Right? I'm like middle class. No, you're guaranteed middle class, but most... No, 90% are Australians. I mean, how does it even 95% are Australians? I couldn't care less who's in government. Uh, they only know about politics when election time comes around. That's like 90% of Australians. Well, you have... With the other 10% are pensioners who can only read Fox News, uni students, and professional politicians and staffers. Uh, 
I mean, to, like, to become a JP again after five years, you had to do the whole thing again. Oh. <laughs> but maybe without MP nomination. All you had to do is prove your ID, do the knowledge test again, and show that there's need for you to be a JP for five more years. Five more years. Five more years. No, but I can... There's a rumor that Scott Morrison pooped himself. Yeah, it's, it's, in a McDonald's here. Yeah. But I, I don't know how true it is. I've seen people Reddit laugh at it. I couldn't care less. Um, look, if the government, the government has a lot of mechanisms they could use to do a lot of things they want to do. If they want to, okay, then I just, I just, I just like to think I'm in this one island where nothing they do can affect me. Good on unless you. they, no, they can something. affect you though. If they give you free Medicare dental care, you would take up on it, wouldn't you? I don't know enough. My parents do Medicare. I don't even have yeah, a Medicare parents, card myself. Be oh, that's like yeah. My parents yeah. would care. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying my parents would wouldn't you care. care. I'm saying I don't care. Would you care if they um? No, you wouldn't care because usually they're grandfathers that sort of stuff. Uh, sorry, student loans are usually grandfather that sort of stuff. So whatever you have, I don't. Student know loan. Mean. That affects. Okay, me. I will that's say that does affect me. Yeah. What about that? Does affect me ever since they started. Taking money out of my income. But I think you went about the income threshold. Stay below it, kid. Be cool. Ah. Um, you know what? That probably is a power move I should do at my, at my office. Can you pay me less <laughs> for the amount of work I'm doing? <laughs> no, I'll call it. Um, what other things directly affect I will you? say, when I was earning less than 18 grand, because I used to yeah. work at Taco Bell, yeah. that was great. Paying taxes is sad. Oh, it's a necessary thing you got to do. Um, yeah, but it's sad. It, it it it's it's miserable. I don't know. I think you would be more happier to have um, federal services than to have that extra eighteen dollars or whatever. Um, I don't know why, but I had this brain dead thought in my head for a while. What if I just take on multiple jobs that pay less than eighteen grand? But. The whole thing is that... They're, they're, I know. Yeah. That's why I said it's a brain-dead thought. Yeah. But for like a good five minutes, I thought that was a legitimate solution. I appreciate it. So I'm just trying to think what other things, federal government things can affect you directly. A lot of state government things can. Local governments, not really. You're not I don't know if they affect like driving. No, but state. that's not a federal issue. Public transport. That's state issues. Those are state issues. Is Opal not a federal? No, Opal can a state. <laughs> it's a federal state. I didn't know that. Doesn't doesn't what does Victoria use? O card? I don't remember. V card? <laughs> Maybe V card. That sounds correct. I don't know if you're no, making you can... that up. But that sounds correct. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just... No. Thanks, work. Uh, in Victoria, it's called Mickey, Mikey. When the hell? Mickey. My Mikey. It's called Mikey. Christ. I don't like the sound of that. In, in, I don't know. Is it cheaper? I don't know. Yeah, I only care if it's cheaper. In South Australia, it's known as MetroCard. In in ACT, it's known as MyWay. These all sound like shitty apps. What the hell? West Australia, in Perth, it's called Smart Rider. In in, in Queensland, it's called GoCard. Oh, I'm gonna stick with New South Wales and Opal Card then. Uh, in in former New South Wales, in former Mel- sorry former Melbourne, it was known as MetCard. Right, I don't know that. What other federal issues affect you? Uh, veterans benefits. Yeah, that definitely affects you. Wait, what other? So I'm actively just not just right now as I am unaffected by everything. No, yeah, basically. Unless they increase taxes. Yeah. Oh, and student them? loan payment. Basically, that's all. Yeah, probably is because again, federal they handle a lot of things that should not affect you, which is foreign affairs, um, veteran affairs. Um, defense, federal law, as in attorney general sort of thing. Federal energy will not affect you. State energy policy will. Uh... Energy doesn't affect me. I don't pay utilities. Fair point. Fair point. Uh... I'm not saying they will never affect me. They no, will no, affect no, no, no. me when I move right out. Now, we're going to talk about right now. But right now, I just think no matter who I work, it doesn't affect me. Yeah. It will affect you, though. It will affect you. One party's a bit more generous to student loans, one's not. Or university funding, sorry. One party's more generous to university funding, one is not. Yeah, but it doesn't really bother me. It bothers me. Because I always think, I what know, if I was, like, in America? You're thinking the short term. And then right? I think, 
as long as it's not going to be anything above like 50k yeah but you're thinking in the short term though university underfunding can be a common structural thing if you just don't fund them now yeah but it doesn't bother me that i think that's i know the whole yeah you can't see the effect it doesn't bother me yeah as long as nothing affects me right now it doesn't yeah. bother me well i appreciate and it's not like i'm gonna be in uni for crazy long that's it's another not three that, years it's not that's that not... but well, you have me wanting things to be better but there's that my kids it'll probably affect but yes, i don't care about that either i also hate your kids if you can tell uh what else it was would affect for that one reason i'll make you that godfather thank you child care Federal handles childcare, which I still don't understand why. It seems like a state issue, but uh, <laughs> federal government handles childcare and aged care. I don't know why, but both affects you, Arjun. Mm. Well, say Is Will Smith making videos now? Does he make TikTok slapping people? Oh, he should make a Fiverr account where he just slaps you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Thanks, Mike, for those things you just sent me. I think it sucks that he got kicked out of the academy. Yeah. I, I, I don't this is so that. stupid. Why are they getting penalties for it? It's so dumb. He's been banned from the Oscars for 10 years. 10 years? And he has to return his Oscar. Oh, he has to return those? Well, I thought, I thought it was a thing where he didn't have to. Oh, yeah, no, okay. no, that's yeah. what. That's like literally the headline if of the If he has to return them, that's your must stuff, return. though. Because... They are in recognition of things unrelated to the slapping, though. The slapping does not change he acted well. That No, I, that's what someone is saying. Okay. It, the, the news Stockholm thing was quoted. Someone, a member of the Motion Picture Company called Sean Will Smith to... Oh, oh that is an God. idiot. Because I think this is dumb. This is so dumb. And you all know the saddest thing? I feel so sad for this guy. Because his yeah. wife, I honestly feel like, is an honest piece of shit. She is a total piece of shit. Wow. After this, do you know what she wrote 23 hours ago? What? In an interview, she said she said she cried after getting married to Will Smith. I, I thought they're still married, though. No, they're not. He, oh, they're not? She, she's in an open relationship. She no, is... you, no, you can be married and be in an open relationship. Yeah, but she's dating a 19-year-old right now. Fair enough. Good on her. <laughs> Uh, Christ, so I'm just thinking. Anyway, uh, unrelated to all of that, I, I was doing the vote compass test before, for ABC, you know. Hmm. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. You know what I'm going to do right now, yep. see how. As it I turns out, apparently, according to it, I'm a bit more socially, no, less socially progressive than you would think. But that's mainly because I don't really care about. Look, I'm going to sound like an asshole. I was thinking about it deeply, but do I? would I care if any political party promised to have an indigenous voice to parliament? The answer is no, I do not care. <laughs> and I, No, I, it's not an asshole thing. It's just fact. I know. Uh, that's that's the thing. Opinion. And like, that's the opinion. thing is, the thing is, I don't think the indigenous are also really thinking about it right now. Uh, you, you, well, we're gonna Probably the now. ones who are like, who are like, Acting as the voice, they care about it a lot, yeah. but that's such a minority of the already existing Probably, minority yeah. of the indigenous no, Australians. I, my problem with it is, I think indigenous Australians' problem right now that they want is they want jobs, much better, education. yeah, much better jobs, much better pay. That's their goal right now. I don't think their goal is to get into politics. I, yeah. Probably for the voice of the community, yeah. that's their goal. But for regular, average Indigenous Australians, I think their oh, goal is I, to get a stable, yeah. decent-paying job, being able to own a house, being able to get all the avenues that other people are allowed to. I think that's their goal. Yeah, fair. that's fair. But then again, you need to remember, 99% of them couldn't care less, though. They just want to work. They want to get their money. Yeah, that's what I'm home. saying. Because a being day. a political voice, yeah, while there's only so much one person in politics can do who's indigenous. Yeah. If anything, all that did was help that one person get so above everyone well, else. Well, oh, there are some good things for indigenous, though, uh, indigenous people. But what I was saying was... Like, for example, there's a New South Wales Commission for indigenous things. Yep. I, I don't remember what it's called, 
They hired lawyers left, right, and center, but I don't know what they do. I actually have no idea. They, don't they do legal aid? I think they hold speaking people? events, that's all. Uh, it's not legal aid. Oh. Legal aid handles its, its own indigenous things. They hire okay. indigenous uh, lawyers. I, look, a good program would be to do some indigenous programs at legal aid because, you know, um, Aboriginal Australians are a bit higher on justice. Yeah, they Possibly already do issues. that, but legal aid that's isn't a thing federal do. thing. It's a state yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a state issue. It's a state thing. Federal doesn't hmm. have a federal legal aid, I don't think. That's why I'm saying I think the best thing you can do is to raise the whole community right now rather than just adding yeah. a couple of political positions for them. Yeah. Because I feel like that doesn't affect much right now. I, 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 I glitched to vote. Good job. And uh, by the way, another one of weird political... So, I can, I've, I've selected all of them. I know, good job, Wake. I'm clear, I'm clear, I don't consider myself a conservative, but good job, Wake. But one of the opinions that put me against everyone is I think Australia slightly should remain a monarchy, just slightly. And, and that is different than everyone. No one. Knows. I don't care. But yeah, there's there's the don't care option. Um, I just think it doesn't. Removing them, I. It's. No, it it's like the you. British, right? Arjun, I right, think uh, most of the politicians in. <laughs> in the UK government don't care about the monarchy. They just think it's too much effort and money to remove the monarchy. question, who's the Governor General of Australia? Uh, it's that general guy, right? What's his there, name? There have been two general guys and one major general guy. Because <laughs> it's not Quentin Bryce anymore. No, she hasn't been her. Governor General for eight years, I think. Uh... No, 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 it's a lady now, right? It's no, a lady. No, it's a it's not a... guy. Anyway, so Arjun, okay, what would you do? Then it is a general guy. Yeah, that, that is I don't, two general He used guys. to be like Minister for Defense or no, something. No, he hasn't. Like. No, but no. Arjun, you're, you're spot on. No one cares about the head of state or the de facto head of state. No one cares. You care about the prime minister. The governor general. I thought it was a lady. Wasn't uh, it a dame? I can give you the answer, though. It's His Excellency the Honorable General... Sorry. His Excellency General the Honorable David Hurley, ACDSC. David Hurley, okay. That's I think I'm thinking... Is there a New South Wales Governor General? Maybe... Uh, oh, Margaret no, Beasley. just Governor. Margaret that Beasley, that's who I'm thinking of. Margaret Beasley. Beasley. Yeah, she's the Governor of New South Wales. Then, I'm honestly, I think only two people, if I go across the streets of here, maybe one or two people will know. Maybe in Sydney, where there's more uni students who care about politics, maybe more people will know. I just think it's pointless. It's like, you know, it doesn't harm anyone. Yeah, no, it's a good to have. It's a it's a honour sort of thing. It's an honor I don't know. Thing. I don't think it's... I don't agree with ritual and tradition. I just think there's no point in... Re Unless you're getting like a significant gain from removing it, there's no point. And I think that's honestly why the referendum failed in like two 2000. I think... I don't think there were that many monarchists. I just think that people didn't care. I thought it was also because some Republicans hated the idea that what the other ones wanted to bring in, so they still voted no. Because no, uh, no, I I just think there's no point. Anyway, if people do it, do it. Anyway, you might be wondering why why am I leaning on Mr. Albanese this election? Why? Because I think so. He gets to choose the next governor general if he wins government. Whoever wins government gets to choose the next governor general, I believe. So it's not the Queen who does that. Well, the Queen appoints him, but the government of the day selects the Governor General, basically. Uh, and I want a, I want a non-General Governor General. We had two generals so far. That is annoying to me. I want a lawyer or someone, or a Supreme Just, or a High Court Justice. I mean, they're afraid, right? Because huh? they can, they have a lot of power, right? Governor, formal power, they just don't use it, because if they use it, it's a constitutional nightmare. Uh, they have a lot of power. Like, it's just... I know they can bring in royal commissions. Yeah, they can, but they always do it under Prime Minister's advice. That's part of Westminster system. But uh, Ooh, David cool. Hurley's term is up in like, what, two years, four years? I don't know, three years. But the past two governors general, they've both been army people. That's boring to me. That's boring. I want someone like Winton Bright, an academic, or maybe not Peter Hollingworth. Uh, maybe someone like Bill Hayden, former opposition leader. That's right, Bill Shorten, governor general. Uh <laughs> Maybe Ninian Martin Smith, who was a barrister and a judge. He's cool. What uh, does the point mean to be a governor general? No comment. Uh, we we could have what West Australia does: have their former police commissioner become governor general. That's cool. Have um Shane Fitz. I forgot the guy. The guy who was former IFS, but now is resilient in South Wales. Let him be governor general. Bloody hell, let him. Um, wait. The governor of Queensland. He retired recently, didn't he? Because now their chief health officer, their former chief health officer, is now governor, right? 
Yeah, Queensland. Yeah. yeah, have that former guy. He was a justice or something. Let him become governor general. Have Kim Beasley become governor general. Like, I, I want options. I don't want just men who want more khaki. I don't want that. That's boring. Because if you look at the trends, the coalition. Yeah, did has... you see? Did you see the new thing we made? What's it called? The space defense. It's a minute. It's just a command under Air Force, I believe. It's just Still, a I think it's hilarious. It's a I remember, I remember. It's military. Wasn't it being memed as if it was like some sort of defense against aliens or something like that? I don't know What's where you got that from, but sure. But anyway, if you look at the trends, this is just random trends. Under I don't Defense know, Space Command, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Haw- Bob Hawke chose um, Stevens, but so under Haw- Hawke, he chose his former opposition leader as, as Governor General. Howard chose a judge i think and a bishop and then a general then you, you know have... what they should do they should they should do a lottery get every oh, australian name or uh, every australian's name in, like this massive bowl and pick one paper and whoever they pick it becomes an astronaut. the governor general now that's a very like a, i don't know if it's a Fenian or something but that's a very cool way to do it and i want there to be a rule where they cannot say no they can't say no <laughs> They can't not become governor general. I know. That... I, I would love to think, an, like a strongly anti-monarchist becomes the governor. That's general. happened though. That has happened many times. I think in recent history. Why would they accept it? Because Australia has its own choice. If the queen does not accept it, that's a constitutional crisis. Because if the Queen does not accept no. it, it means Australia can... No, why? They, they could just refuse the job and uh, they would pick someone else. Wait, wait the Queen or the, or the Governor General? The Governor General. Because being Governor General is cool. I think Quinton Bryce is a Republican. She, she said, yeah, uh, I think we should have a Republic in Australia. I think she was a Republican. Uh, Cosgrove and Hurley are quiet on the issue, if I'm correct. Um... I thought Cosgrove said he was more Republican. Oh, well, then he's also Republican. Because... A lot of, Austra- a lot of like academics and and a lot of labor are, are fine Republicans. Then, fine then. I no. Th- these are just regular anti-monarchists. I'm saying strong. Oh. Like like if the if the queen was here, I don't know. He would like throw a tomato. On <laughs> I would do that even if I'm not a <laughs> a, a strong anti-monarch and and anti That's what I'm saying. I want someone who actively hates them so much, but has no avenue. <laughs> Avenue site to refuse it. That'd be hilarious. I kind of want That's that like now. a sitcom. I would love to watch. Can someone put cameras in that guy's like office, house, and everything? Put it. I would love to watch that. Pin. Put a camera <laughs> in the pen. Let's see where it goes. Anyway, I, 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 I just, I just want more variety in what governors general past are. Because the governors, I think we have a wide range of governor pasts. Let me check all the governors of the states. I How won't take the administrators. How do I find Adam Van? Adam Bant will not be my governor. Uh, but how? How like, trustworthy do I find how, him? I don't remember how, my answer. How can I judge how? Is there? Does I he not be... know answer. No, there's zero to Good ten. Good luck. But I don't reckon Australia is <laughs> going to be a monarchy in the next one hundred years. I no, I I don't reckon to be a monarch after Queen Elizabeth dies. <laughs> I don't think. I think Prince. Yeah, Charles... not even that. Yeah, I feel bad for Prince Charles. He's probably going to live under the dissolution of the British, like head of state, sort of thing. The Commonwealth will survive. There are a lot of presidents in the Commonwealth. India, um, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Barbados. US doesn't see itself as the Commonwealth, right? Who? The US. No, US is definitely not Commonwealth. They they would hate you if you call them Commonwealth. Unless it's one of the states. Unless it's one because of the states. Because several, several states are Commonwealth. Anyway, so... let's see how to become governor in Melbourne. I thought in, in, in Victoria. You can be a former barrister or, or jurist. That's cool. Kim Beasley, who was former opposition leader, former deputy prime minister, now governor. Margaret Beasley, she was a judge, I think. No, president of the Court of Appeals, New South Wales. That's cool. Tasmania, former judge in South Australia, which is very cool. Former diplomat, former head of um, DFAT. Very cool, very cool. And former chief health officer. Yeah. Anyway, Norfolk Island, Norfolk Island. What, what's their former job? Oh, they're a failed politician. Okay, what, what's what's in what's the Australian Indian Ocean Territory? Oh, a former politician who failed. Oh, and in Northern Territory, it's a businesswoman. Good on her. Okay. 
What is your religion if you've got one? I put under atheist, not even agnostic. I just, I'm not anti-theist. I just think if there is a god, he does not exist. I have an mm, issue yeah. with atheists. <laughs> Take your <laughs> sister, Go ahead. Oh, no, it's not like I'm strongly religious. I, I, I'm not saying I have an issue with like atheism thing. I just have an issue with atheists like on forum boards. Are you saying they're a bit too arrogant? Like they act like they're not know. arrogant. They they act like they're men of science. Okay. When they're not, they don't seem to understand how science works. Yep. Science you put out. Just because you, just because you can't find proof of something doesn't mean it inherently doesn't exist. Yep. Yep. And that's my biggest issue. They can never seem to prove. They are, they all say, "Oh, how do you explain this? How do you explain that?" Just because you can't explain how. Uh, just because you can uh, what do you say? You don't know that God exists for sure. It doesn't mean you can actively for you know hundred percent say it doesn't it, that well, it doesn't exist. Well, but you can say that there's no evidence or no empirical or concrete evidence. There. Yeah, but that's not what they say. And that's what I. And it's say. not like you know enough. And it's not like you know enough. Yeah. Our knowledge is so limited. How do you know that God isn't like in the next galaxy? <laughs> you know. Maybe he's chilling. Maybe that's his vacation house. I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, uh, but I can be certain in saying that I, there have been no evidence that would convince me right, that I've seen so far. That's why I can be concrete in saying. Yeah, that they can't convince you, but it doesn't effectively mean God doesn't exist. But the onus is not on me, though. The onus is on someone to give evidence. I can't yeah, no one is telling you to go out and prove God ex doesn't exist. Yeah, no, you can't prove a negative, though. That's... <laughs> I'm just saying, just because you can't yeah. find evidence of it doesn't mean but it doesn't under that, exist. But under that sort of belief style, you you could say unicorns are real. I just uh, it could be in another universe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then you have to be consistent. Then. <laughs> but that is science. I know. I never said unicorns aren't real. No, well, yeah, but science wouldn't say that God could be in another universe. Science would say that uh, we haven't done the scientific method yet. <laughs> yeah, but basically, they can't prove it doesn't exist. But is it not a good sign that you can't prove something exists? There's a strong chance it might not exist for now. No. No? No. I strongly disagree. Okay. So, Why'd you put you here? I'm not... What the hell is this graph? Th that's you. Uh, are you not you? I think I should be on the line. What line are you talking about? No. Uh... The, the line. Oh, actually, no, that's too close to labor. Oh, you, that's me, sorry. <laughs> that's me. I'm the me. Well, that's you. Yes. I feel like I'm at the center of the axis. I don't care. I don't know. I feel like you're a bit more socially progressive than that. I'm not. What? Name one thing which I think about society for. I have never cared about society. Huh? Yes, I'll say, should we have gay marriage? You say, sure, why not? Yeah, but I don't say, sure, why not, as in, like, it's a right for humans. I say... I would say, sure, I don't care. That's basically what I would say. What I wouldn't say, me? sure, why not? So are you telling me? I'd say, sure, I, don't ju I just don't care. Okay, so if there's a referendum on abortion or something, you would just, you don't know where you would go, it's a flip of the coin? Yeah, I have no idea where I would go. It just depends okay. how I was feeling. Well, on economic day. issues, I, I don't know where to play how you would land. I know where I would land. Fine, give me some issues. Okay, um, should taxes on high income earners be lower or higher or about the same high isn't it a percentage and then like a cent yeah per dollar i know yeah as in to raise taxes for that you could either increase sorry decrease the no no i don't think it should be higher it's pointless then they'll just go into tax evasion what difference does it make do, do you really think someone earning 150k a year would do tax evasion it's easier just no. to pay the tax. And... 150k is still the highest bracket is 200k. Yeah, I know, I know. I, if you're talking about high earners, I'm assuming they're earning like 500k a year. Fine. That's what high earners. Fine, let's go high earners. Then. You increase the tax rate. What are they going to do? They're just going to try and evade tax because at that point, why not? They can do that, but at that point, you can fund the ATO better and have more um, anti-tax evasion sort of task force that they're doing. Exactly. So there's no point in doing it. No, no, no. With a lot of tax things, though, every dollar the government puts into it, they can reap back like three or four dollars in the future. I don't know. I don't think it's it will amount to much. That's me. 
I, d- I I feel like if I was earning 600k you know, and they were increasing the tax you know, rate so much, I would find a way to send that money to the Solomon Islands or something like it is that. Annoying though that That's you what I even, would do. It is annoying though that you do not delve into the economic argument of um, if you increase the tax rate, you could discourage people from trying to earn higher incomes or you could... Um, I don't think that will ever happen. Uh, the fact that you can tax evade means it's fine. No, we're going to talk about economic theory. Uh... But then again, if you tax, then again, if you try to keep the, the taxation system progressive, the idea is the more able you are to pay tax, the more tax you should pay. That's the simple idea of a progressive tax system. Yeah, that's why it's fine now. But I feel like if you're to increase it, the thing it, is, the Morrison government made it less progressive though by de- by destroying. Isn't it? it? No, really? No, it's still progressive, but they took out a threshold and decreased or increased one of the thresholds. So now it's slightly less no progressive idea. than it was six years ago. Yeah, they did it for the middle, yeah, the they middle, did, they did income, that. right? But it, but it's still but the people who are better off than the middle earners are the higher income one. They've been uh, side. Yeah, but their bracket hasn't changed. It was it was like two of them in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. I no, think they, they merged a bracket and decreased the general tax level to the bottom one. It's I think they removed seventy five k. Something like I that. Think. But it's still, gen- you would, if you compare it before and now, it is less progressive than it used to be. Yeah. But I don't think those people are arguing. Well, actually, oh, no. no, no, no. P- people opposite... earning 75k uh, yeah, yeah, no. would probably be annoyed. But yeah. no, 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 other no, no, than um, them, no one would be annoyed. Annoyingly, though, Labour has dropped any opposition to those tax breaks because it's political. It's political suicide to oppose those. Uh, what, what another tax? Because break? most of Australia's middle income. Earners. Basically, yeah. Uh, another thing would be, well, another sort of economic issue would be. We're not allowed to talk about, the, about if anyone talks about interest rates, they're an idiot. That's what I'm going to tell you. Because RBA handles interest rates, not the government. Uh, that's another. Uh, should I should just go, drop the questions they, they asked? Like, where's the questions? Uh, I don't know. But I've completed the. I couldn't vote care compass. less, really. Ah, uh, Christ. Why don't you just do the vote compass, Arden, and I'll do it for you? What? What? Anyway, what did uh, you say? I ask a lot of things. Uh, anyway, for another economic issue, uh, how much power should trade unions have in the workplace? Same, more, or less? Unions. Unions, trade unions, like um, workers' unions. Should they have more power in the workplace? Less power? The same amount now? I honestly... Don't care. Okay. Don't know what power they have right now. They're a bit weaker than they historically have been. Some powers can involve more generous. Um... But probably the only union which I I know, or at least I remember knowing being really powerful was like the mining union. That makes sense. Yeah. But but I don't know any other union that's powerful than that. Probably now transport union because they can effectively stop yep. public transport. But they're not. But it, again, unions right now, in general, as a whole, are weaker than they have been in the past. Mainly because there have been legislation against industrial action. Like it's, it's really limited. They can only do it when there's when there's already. A Teachers case union the strikes were the greatest. They were. We got like another hour for lunch. That, that, that's why they're the greatest. Uh, so I don't know any power these people actually have. No, should they have more power, less, or about the same? Oh, the question not do that. You want to what power? I don't know. I see. There's some unions I agree with. Yep. Some I don't. Wait, which I think. I think. Okay. While I I don't agree with transport union okay. as much as I agree with like the nurses and like doctor union. Sure. But I do give them more validity. Than the teachers union because oh, wow. yeah they were still working unsafe hours yeah. but my whole issue was they were working in like office environments and like all they had to do was wave that flag that was most of that union but my biggest issue is the teachers union want more pay and i don't know why they are paid so much i i don't get it they are above the average income even okay. when you start as a teacher and I don't get why they want a higher income. Why don't you look at the reasons why? I don't know. Okay. I've never bothered to check Next and question. I don't think I'm it gonna exists. Put, I'm going to put you under that as I do not know. Come on. L- let's be honest. Do you honestly think they deserve a higher salary? Sure. Yep. I value teachers. Teachers are uh, teachers are basically start-up education. But I feel like, that, I feel like so that yeah, if they were historically underpaid, I would definitely agree. But they're above the average. Yeah. Uh, 
Look, I feel in the way that the higher the pay, you could attract better workers. I know, I think that, that's basically the theory. As if people that's don't go the to... Said, the only guess. people who can live teaching is people who genuinely have a passion. Yeah. Or who have gone so far and they have no other choice. You have a very pessimistic view of teachers. But I, look... Okay, fine, fine. Let's go back to our high school teachers. Yep. How many of them can you name who had a genuine passion for teaching? Martin, uh, Chugwin... Give me a second. I can't say Hartley because I'll be lying. Uh, <laughs> exactly. It's, um, it's like all, the, little did, uh, all of the art teachers. All of the art teachers. All of the history teachers as well. HSA, they all, they all like I don't know. Yeah, Do you yeah, think Mr. Dwayne, Dwayne had no, a I passion? Think you did not like them. That did not mean they don't have a uh, No, you mean you think you had like a strong passion to go to work? Yeah. Sure. I never felt like that when I was. I don't know. Anyone who became a, a unit coordinator, not unit coordinator. Grade coordinator, I forgot what the hell they used. They seem dedicated. Your advisor. Your advisor. They, those always were dedicated. I don't know. I I just felt like there were like a couple teachers who were genuinely passionate and everyone else just put in too much time to do anything else. I don't know. I know, I know Mr. Kuma seemed undedicated, but he seemed genuinely happy. Yeah. He... he, he okay, I... but... That's different, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm saying genuinely passionate to impart knowledge onto someone. Yeah, all of them. I, 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 I don't know. I, I disagree. Be. I don't think all of them are like that. Well, there's, there's, a, there's always a question of how but, things should be and how things are. But I, but I, And that's the thing. I just feel like they are a workforce which everyone would... See, no one likes to teach. I don't think... At least I don't like to teach. Do you like to teach? I think I hate children. Yeah, and uh, but they had the best benefits, uh, probably out of any working career. Like I cannot think of any other job that gives me like close to two months holiday. Yeah, paid. Good on them. Uh, anyway, next question. I'm gonna put you under. I do not know. No, just put it on as same. Wait, was this if union should have more power, power or not? Should unions have in the workplace same more or less? I just think it's a dumb question. No, you. Dickhead. So just to put same. Deal with the question, you bastard. Same. All right, no, I'm actually gonna do the real comment test. I was just pretending I was. I'm actually gonna do it now. You, you want me to? What's your postcode? I'm gonna assume it's that number. One four seven. Too late. I already know which electric you're in anyway. Uh. <laughs> and it better be green. <laughs> uh, hold up. All right, Arjun, you're not. You, why can I help you out? So, Arjun, okay, how high sure. should the minimum wage be? That's the question for you. How high should the minimum wage be? Same now, higher, much higher, slightly lower, or much lower? I think same as now is fine. Sure. How much money should other work Australians receive in un unemployment benefits? Much less, somewhat less, about same as now, somewhat more. Much how more, much do they earn now? I don't know. How much? However much I earn, I don't know. Um, it, isn't it like $700 a week? No, Christ God. <laughs> Is it not? Is it? Okay, then uh, I, I don't, don't know. I don't think it is. I thought it was seven hundred dollars. Oh no, a no, week. under last year when they raised everything, I think yes. I don't know if they went back down to their old rates. They might have by now. As long as it's enough to rent out a decently sized apartment and let me check. I need feed. to check. Wait, because uh, unemployment is a federal issue, if I remember. Um, but you see, the the other issue is also I don't want it to be too high because people won't want to work. I get that, but there's a. The thing is, right now, I think I think it's. Look, the the problem right now is that, it's low in that you. And can't... it's not like they all have to. I. How do you even qualify? Isn't this like how you qualify for like public housing? I. Like, if you're unemployed, do you not qualify for public housing? I don't understand housing, how a that works. Wait list, isn't it? Okay, I don't know about that, I but I feel got, like if I you would, but I feel like if you moved to a place where there was, like, you, if you definitely moved around, you could probably get public housing. Hey, Arjun, you're curious for single for the maximum rate, which is sorry, let's go with single person with one child. It's uh seven hundred dollars yeah. for two weeks, seven hundred dollars for per two, for a fortnight. <laughs> you okay. I don't know. It's hard. See, like for example, Look, there's a guy who lives like right across me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like him at all. He just wastes his life. He does nothing. That's he is on unemployment benefits. Good on him. But like, he also has like a disabled mom. Yeah. So he rakes in disability checks yeah, too. Yeah. 
And like he just spends his entire home like yep. time at home. They own that house. Yep. Uh, they they just spend their entire time at home so fighting, drinking, and is, smoking weed. Okay, good on them. But there are more people than just him. There, there are people where you give. Them I know, I know. I'm not saying that he is yeah. everyone. I'm He's saying I don't want to stuff. increase that. Yeah, but the general thing they found last year was that if even if they just raise payment by fifty dollars a week, that allow people to to have less financial stress. Let them buy some. Better food, at least. Remember, this, uh, the goal is... I don't know. Fine, raise it, but not by too much. More? Okay, how much should Australia do to reduce its carbon emissions? You put don't know, much less, somewhat less, about the same as now, somewhat more. Much Didn't more. we backpedal? Oh. I, swear, I swear, like, 10 years ago, we said, like, 2025. Yeah, Aren't we, we backpedaling? That was a different government. <laughs> okay. The Nats doesn't like that. See, I don't mind as long as there is an actual goal. I don't want an agreement like 2025 and then to backpedal when 20. It's not like an assignment for school. I don't want someone saying, oh, I'm going to create a plan yeah. every single day yeah. and do a bit and then end up being at like the last day and then backpedaling. That's been my as opinion. long as they have a steady goal, I don't mind if it takes 50 or 100 years. I just want them to actively have a steady goal. Okay, let's see what's their steady goal then is Australia current emission target. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're also part of that France The Paris thing. Agreement. Australia says they would reduce it to 5% below 2000 levels by 2020. Nope, that's too early. Uh, let's say let's say 30% 30, 30 reduction by 2025 or something. Okay, then it's fine. I okay. don't mind. The I know Australia is also going heavy into nuclear power. So it's you fine. really should. I know Germany regrets quitting nuclear power. Well, I regret Germany quitting nuclear. No, power. but the thing is, the thing is, I think it's like the best option. Yeah, that and solar, awesome. that solar and hydropower yeah. is like the best They're option awesome. for Australia. I we don't... have sections of land in the middle where no one yeah. will ever go. It blows my head that the Greens are opposed to nuclear power when it's one of the best things for the environment. It blows my head off. Um, next and one. Yeah. Even if we do have nuclear fallout. <laughs> That's what I always like to think. It's not like Japan or uh, you know Germany or Russia, where it's so close to people. We can put it smack dab in the middle, and even if it explodes, I don't think a single thing will care. Arjun, you do know wind takes things. Anyway, we're gonna ignore that. Uh, the federal yeah, but it won't spread so far. Australia is big. <laughs> it was just island. New Zealand. Next one. The federal government should commit to funding a pay increase for wage age care workers. The federal government should commit to a funding a pay increase for aged care workers. Yeah, you don't remember aged care workers are a bit underfunded right now. I know, but I also think well, everything I've seen of them makes me feel like they're evil people. Just because of all the really commissions, sorry. all the media things where they like scratch and hold down old people. I honestly feel like an aged care home is like the worst place to put an old person. I agree. <laughs> so like, I don't like know that. if they <laughs> exist. Yeah, I wouldn't want my yeah. parents there. That or well, I wouldn't even want. Though. I don't want to end there. But that's a privilege to not have any family in aged care. I don't know. It's like, it's like I don't want. It's like what do you say? It's like are they that much of a nuisance to you? Is your family that I much know, of a nuisance to you? Do it, but you have to do it. drop them off. I don't know why they do it, but people do it. I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about this one because I'm just actively against don't know. Next the one. whole thing. How much faster should trade unions have in the workplace? You said the same about now. There should be fewer tax breaks on investment properties. Uh, so that's like negative gearing and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. right? Like, I have a getting rid of negative What is negative gearing as long as it might, I'm paying more in rent? If it's an investment I don't have to pay tax? Something like that. Oh. It's hard to explain because no one understands it. So uh, I don't know because I feel like only a few people are taking advantage basically, of that, yeah, right? Basically, So I feel like so you said should there be more increased opportunities? No, I think there it's there's the already a crisis where people can't own homes. Yep, it, it, and it, having it, more investors yeah. buy up homes that they're not going to live in and just make more yep. of it a rental it property field. Things, capital city price increases. I'm gonna put neutral or what? Yeah, I'm going to say, actually, I think it should be less. Oh, I think you should tax them. Uh, there should be fewer, sure. Next one. Medicare should offer basic dental care for all Australians. Yeah, dental care in Australia is just like this unsubsidized Next hell. Does somebody agree, strongly agree? Uh, yeah, agree, agree. I think they should have <laughs> dental <laughs> benefits. Strongly or somewhat? So, like, how accessible should abortion services be in Australia? Your answer is I do not know. 
Next one. One company. Okay. Abortion is hard, man. I know. It's hard. I know. I don't know, because I feel like it applies on the person. I feel like the choice should it be there if much, you want it. It is very much a moral thing, yeah. Like, for the people, because I'm not a woman. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll I never need that really service. Tell them what but, so I think the choice should exist if they want it. Okay. But you shouldn't actively force whether they should do it but or no not. No one's forcing abortion. No, there are like, no, there are. There are crazy people in relationships who force people into Oh, abortion. you mean like in a relationship? Okay, sorry. If I meant yeah. state forced abortions. No, no, no. Which no, no, just no. don't happen. If someone says that happened, they're an idiot in Australia. Next no. one. Foreign companies should be prohibited from leasing Australian ports. So that is... What? What did you say? Foreign companies should you be... Spoke so quickly, I foreign couldn't Foreign companies understand. should be prohibited from leasing Australian ports. Do you want China to own Darwin ports? Do you want the US to own Darwin ports? Ports. Is this like that whole thing yes. that came up? I saw yes. it in a UAP ad. Yes, <laughs> the, the government sold like no, more, a more than year lease to the Chinese. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it does. <laughs> so so no. I never can. Okay. Next one. Terminally ill patients should be able to end their own lives with medical assistance. Are you in favor of euthanasia? That's the question. You agree, people should I mean, it is technically legal in every state Except than other New South Wales. <laughs> so I disagree. Sure. How, how much should Australia spend on foreign aid? You do not know how much we spend right now? Neither do I. My answer is... I um, don't know. Just for don't know, I don't That's know. fair. I do not know the exact... More water needs to be preserved to protect the environment, even if this means less water for farmers or for farming. I'm being a bit loaded in my language. Really? But... Heaps of water? I thought that was the issue. Isn't that why there's like this whole flood in like uh that water you can't use like for rural farming, areas because the dam is overflowing so much i think this is long-term water sort of thing do we save water long long term like in barrels how do you even do that <laughs> you keep them in the murray darling basin you dickhead no. yeah but the whole, i thought the whole issue was like the dam was like at 99 percent. the rain but came and they have to let out of it for farmland though it's not where the farm is that water's in manly or something you can't. Oh, okay. You can't just scoop out where. No, it wasn't was manly. This was like a rural town, and they had to like go on boats. You talking about Lismore? Just to move right. from shopping center. You talking about Venice? Anyway, let's put. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Next one. Sunday penalty. I swear rates. this happened. Anyway. Sunday penalty rates should be higher. Sunday penalty rates should be higher. What the hell is a Sunday penalty? So rate? if you work on a Sunday or or weekends, you just have penalty rates guaranteed. Not guaranteed anymore, but some. Isn't it already guaranteed. one and a half? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, basically one and a half. That's correct. No. No. Somewhat. One and a half is already crazy. Wait, do you? Yep, somewhat disagree. Asylum seekers should be held in offshore. If I drive work to my office right now, they wouldn't pay me one and a half if I had to go in during the weekend. It was, more, it was more of a thing for casual workers, if I remember. They will make it sound like... they. You know what they'll tell me? They'll tell me that I'm not effective with my time and I have to come in anyway. <laughs> but I won't be paid for it. So no, if I'm not getting paid, screw them. Uh, uh, you have the already of shop. I want, I want money. Give me, give me now. Uh, asylum seekers should be held in offshore detention centers while their claims are being processed, which is the status quo, I think. Uh, I disagree. Oh, okay. Next one. Australia should end the monarchy and become a republic. Don't know. Uh, don't care. Is many, there a don't care button? Don't know about that. How many Im- immigrants should Australia admit? The answer is definitely more than now. More than now. Do we have a quota every year? I didn't even know that. Uh, let me check. I thought there it was just as people come in, they wait, and then we give them. I didn't know that there was a certain quota. Let me see. The permanent migration program. How many people did they cap it at? Oh, no, they want to make a program. What's the quota for immigration? Okay. Then? I, I try to find the information. I uh, know. I'm pro-immigration, so I'm fine. Yeah. It's re- well, I mean, I'm my parents were immigrants. Yeah. Why would I be against it? It, it, it is really morally wrong if I say something out. Cannabis should be legalized for recreational use. Cannabis should be legalized for recreational use. Screw it. That's the only reason I'm going to Canberra. I want to smoke pot. Anyway, by the way, the permanent cap right now is um, two plants. One hundred sixty thousand. That's the current cap for four mm-hmm. years. Australia. Oh, fuck. I'm sure you're talking about Canada's plants. No. Oh, like, what the hell? No, that, no, that's cool. No, this is for immigrants. Uh, and they want to get immigrants away from the city, send into rural areas. Good on them. I don't know. The city is where the immigrants go to. That's where community is. Sorry. Uh, no, the reason they go there is because that's 
jobs. Where the work is, yeah. There, there, there's, no, there's no jobs in rural. The yeah. only people who get jobs in rural are miners, engineers. And people who support like, them. Like aeronautical engineers, which for, you need to be a citizen. You can't get yeah. a aeronautical engineering yeah. job if you're not a c- citizen. And uh, doctors, yeah. which forget it. Anyway... Immigrants, uh, look, that, that's like so hard for them to get into medical The school. government can get immigrants to go to rural areas, but to do that, they need to turn the rural areas into urban cities. <laughs> and then exactly. It makes everything it's... Anyway, um, <laughs> Australia Day should be celebrated on the 26th of January. Uh, the indigenous want to celebrate on another day, right? I don't Freedom know day. what day they want to have. They, I think I it's just they don't want it to be on that day. Yeah, probably, because that's they consider. Yeah, I heard they were campaigning. Yeah. But, like, it to be on another day. So, what's the, I don't know. Don't know? Okay. Just don't know. I don't Australia know. Australia should no longer export coal to other countries to be used for electricity, which is a... I won't Isn't that, it. like, a major export? That is our major export, yes. No, then disagree. Okay. Well, how much Australia spend on its military? We've recently increased military spending. How much do we spend now? I don't know. I, I can give you a <laughs> number, but the number will be meaningless to you, though. No, because I know that our GDP is like a trillion, right? So, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. I think it ju- it's like just like 1.2 okay, trillion. Are you, are you okay with percentage of GDP, military expenditure? Yeah, go GDP. ahead. Go ahead. Right now, we are spending around 2% of GDP on around. Yeah, 2%. I'm fine with that. About the same. Who are we going to get into a war with? Especially with nuclear weapons. Yep. What point? My plan is I mean, if they're spending money, why Australia has no nuclear weapons doesn't make sense to me. We're like we, no, if we get the highest weapons, uranium deposit in the world, and we, we don't do it. If we we nuclear, export uranium there's a big to reason, other people to make nuclear bombs. There's a big reason we don't get nuclear weapons, though. There's a strong anti-nuclear weapon sort of thing we're part of. Also, China would really hate it if we get nuclear weapons. They would hate it a lot. But so what? They make... Even though one nuclear weapon is enough, don't they have? Doesn't the, like the US have like two hundred? They do, but China would love for less nuclear nukes that they don't own. They would prefer it that way. Uh, what share childcare costs should be paid by government, by federal government? Sorry, because federal government handles wait, this. Wait, should childcare no, no, be what subsidized? Share, what share of childcare costs should be subsidized? More, less, or the same? I don't know anything about. Don't this. know. Okay. Just, don't know. How much federal government funding should there be for unis? Well, aren't they already pretty well funded? A lot of them recorded good funding, but uni say they're underfunded. And don't they get a lot of funding from the students? I can explain it a little bit. Unis are mostly underfunded because the government changed funding back in 2016, so that unis are now more reliant on international students. Less international students two years ago, less funding for unis, basically. Did the government make up for the call? No. See, I don't know what it... The only thing I know it's affected, at least for me, is like... I've lost some classes. I haven't had to do any like lower classes yeah. to make up for a class I've lost. I know people have had to do that, yeah. but I haven't had to do that. That hasn't affected I, me, look, really. Yeah. What I wish is, this is indirect to this, but I wish they just made jobs more stable in the academic field, just made more stable jobs. I know funding does not uh, equal that. That is not equal. That is not equal. I think the that. issue, I think, yeah, but I think there is a, see, I, at least for me, at least when I looked, I feel like academic jobs, if you look, they are there. There are a lot of institutes that are like joined with unis that hire yeah, a lot of people. But those are sure, sure universities contract, don't hire a lot of... No, they're not. Okay, good. If you go work for like the Garvin Institute or something like that. Oh, those. Yeah, sorry. I thought you meant like the Australia yeah. Institute or something. No, 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 no. Like institutes made just for research. Yeah, you know, like institutes. They, they hire people. Government ones. Yeah. And like using those places, you can probably jump into like yeah, a, a stable job. But these what are they called when you have two, uh, like you're a lecturer, but you also have a job? I can't remember the name, but there's like a name. Yeah, something like that. Moonlighting? No. No, 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 no. They have an actual name for it. I don't know I what don't it's called. I don't remember it either. Professor. No. Anyway, so let's. Anyway, I think I no, think same. it's fine because Next anyway, time. a lot of people are going to come. This was just an unlucky hit. Like this was a once in a century pandemic so it's fine yep that's what the kids always said next one dual citizens convicted of terrorism should have their australian citizenship revoked uh sure okay political parties should have gender Wait, where are they being terrorists here or overseas, the overseas. these are almost always overseas one 
Oh no, they can do it here. It right? depends on what you consider as terrorism. Well, some people consider some terrorism. countries have messed up meanings for terrorism. Well, I guess this is an Australian definition, which would be whether. The okay, then is... yeah, yeah. Why does it? Yeah. Next Actually, one. can they do that? I think we can now. Australia is the, can. Is, is, isn't that like a constitutional thing? That, can you do that? Can you just take no, no, people's no, no. citizenship? I, the thing you can't revoke someone who only has one citizenship. That's an international thing. But since they're dual oh, citizens, okay. Australia say they still have another citizenship. Then we just run one in oh, Australia. Okay. You're not allowed okay. to make... Like, it's really bad to have stateless people. It's really bad. But uh, Australia would just keep them. That's why dual citizens. Next one. Yeah, aren't they technically asylum seekers looking... I mean, if they have no citizenship, isn't that what, where you fall under? Kind, no, you fall under stateless people, and those I have no idea what it's like to live as one. Like, it doesn't matter. You right. just don't leave the country. Next, mm-hmm. Next one. Political yeah. parties should have gender quotas that require them to have a comparable number of male and female parliamentarians. I have my own views on. This. I am for gender equality, but you don't want. But I don't know if people. adding quotas will change it. I. You know, I feel I like you want to back up on that. This only is an inner circle. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Kind of like that, but the funny thing is, with gender quotas, women are put in marginal seats where they're likely to lose a contest. So they do have the proper quota, but they don't have the quota equal chances of winning as men. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, I it's good. I don't know. I don't know how useful it would be. Don't know. So that's my only issue. I'm for gender equality. Yep. I just don't know how useful it will. Next be. one. Australia should amend its constitution to establish a representative indigenous body to advise parliament on laws and policies affecting indigenous peoples. But how many laws affect indigenous don't people know. that don't affect how everyone much, else? Um, yeah, I can't think of any. How much funding should non-government schools receive from the Commonwealth? None. Okay. Screw them. I, that's, that's honestly a thing. Like, yeah, for example, why a public school but n- makes... It gets barely that much. Yeah. But, like, why do private schools get them? Yeah. They already extort, like, per student, like, 20 grand. Yeah. I don't know, man. It makes no sense why they're funded. It no makes problem. absolutely no, no sense. How much do wealthier people pay in taxes? I guess this depends on your definition of wealthier. Yeah. Is it is it just everyone who's above average income? Is that That's wealthier? a lot of people, though. Exactly. So, I don't know what... But that technically be can can be considered wealthier. That could be, yeah, so, yeah. I don't know if don't you know, have... yeah, yeah, no, okay. Indigenous communities in Australia should have final say over whether mining projects on their land should go, as in, can they start, can they end, etc. Christ, I can't believe I couldn't get the cash know. rate. Sorry, don't care. Okay, this uh, is rough. It's like. Yeah, no, yeah. these are social issues. Uh, the federal government should underwrite private insurance coverage for flood losses. Meaning they should pay people. No, they should pay insurance companies. Basically. Because the, like, it's a guarantee. I, it's a guarantee. I'm paying them for this. This no, is the no, one thing I'm paying them for. No, it's like, yeah, it's a guarantee. Why would you though? underwrite that? Because a bad insurance company would say, we can't afford to pay out all these things. Because... We didn't expect it. That's a shitty oh, okay. insurance company. So the government says we guarantee that if this happens, we will cover any shortfall or something. Don't worry. It, I, I, I. It's just yeah, you know, fine. Somewhat yeah. agree. How yeah. much should government spending on social housing increase? I did not know the federal government did social housing. I still think. How should much do they spend right now? Let's find out. Uh, federal spending. On social housing, let's find out. That's 2013. That's an entirely different government. I don't care what Michael Suka has to say. I don't believe him. Because it depends. How many people are in, like, under a poverty line and don't have a house? I wouldn't know the number. Uh, I think depending on that, then I can tell. I can't find a number on how social housing. All right, but. I'm going to assume since there is still people who can't get social housing, it should increase. Okay, next one. How much tax should there be on petrol? I don't think there should be tax on petrol. Jesus Christ. I 
Man, petrol would be so cheap if they didn't tax it. I don't think so, though. Didn't you get the? What do you mean? You, you, don't you told so me. Either. You told me that they charge so no, much. No, you told me that when the really tax, some petrol company just raise the price anyway and, and cut and take the profits and say no consumers will pay for that price. You That's said, now because they have taxed it. Yeah, well, the thing is, a lot. So of what? I would strike. You know, I would. You know what? I finally found my one issue which I think I would actually vote for if they remove taxes on petrol. Okay, but the the some taxes on petrol light me up, man. The, do you know like a month ago it was two dollars a liter? Yeah. In what world is that saying? That's not the tax fault removed... though. That wasn't tax no, fault. That the... is instability in uh, That's like... instability with the tax. They didn't remove the tax. Had they removed the tax, it would have been less. No, I don't think it should have been The price will be higher than back in the old days because there are a lot of volatility in the national in the international thing right now. Yeah, but if the tax was removed per liter, it wouldn't have hit two dollars. It would have no. been higher than usual, but it wouldn't have hit two dollars. Fair enough, but you know, there's a reason the tax is there, right? A lot of that tax on petrol goes to infrastructure spending. That's why I don't know. To. I don't know why they do it. I don't know. I just hate it. That's actually why the truckers actually were, some truckers were against the tax decrease because they said, one, this decreased infrastructure spending. Two, the tax used to go back to the truckers anyway. So by decreasing the tax, the truckers get less back now. Bro, it's not coming to me. <laughs> yeah, you're not it's, a trucker. It's a sink in my pocket. Anyway, so, let's just say much no. less. The federal government should impo impose further instructions, instruct sorry, restrictions. The federal government should impo impose further restrictions to control the spread of COVID-19. I think this is a state's issue, but still. Uh, ignore me. I think it's manageable. I think it's... I, the, don't get me wrong, COVID is still out there. I think this have a case number like, too high, but like no one cares. Like, in the shadows. But I just think, one, no one cares, and I just think now it isn't as bad. Yep. I, as it used I'm to be. I'm scared, though. It can easily get worse at any time, but no one seems to be preparing. Okay. What do you mean? I wash my hands. I know you're fine. <laughs> I mean, Wear a mask. I, I just not sure if the state government's in the mindset to react strongly anymore. They're like, well, what about the economy? And you know, that's not the issue. That that I think they've forsaken it. Right now, they're in the mindset of if it comes, fuck it, we're going all the way through. Yeah. That's their mindset. They yeah. do not want to restrict things anymore. Yeah, that's I don't. They it feels they, like they need money. Yeah. So uh, I get their understanding, and you know, just, I actually, I actually think it's better. Yeah, people will die. It's, yeah. it's not that, but there's like only so much you can do. No, no, so much you can I, do. But I, I feel like a disease like this, yeah, is very much dependent on the people. Sure, but I'm honestly, I think this our case number is a bit too high <laughs> than what you would be. I don't know. About. I feel like what, what, what are they supposed to do without hurting the economy? Mask wearing that does not really hurt the economy. I don't know. It just I f I don't know. I, know. I am fine with it. I just think the, the New South Wales hit twenty k daily before something like that. And that's a bit uncomfortable. I think, I think today's case is thirteen. Yeah, thirteen k. But you look at last week's, you see some twenty k's, and that's a bit uncomfortable. Because mm. similar state yeah, but size. What was, the fate, what was the hospitalization rate? Was it crazy? No, it's going. It's, it's steady. I don't care if the hospitalization rate goes high. No, but you you noticed yeah. that, right? You noticed that that I can't have media directed or government, but at one point you just stop caring about case numbers because they stop caring about it. So people stop caring about it. Surely you noticed that. Yeah, right? because before the yeah. case number graphic was the the number graphic for couldn't work because on the okay. image was the first infection. number. Yes, but now it's the last it was. Number. It is. Yeah. Yesterday was. Wouldn't it feel weird though if you go back to mid twenty twenty one when everyone cared about case numbers and you tell them now? Case numbers. That, yeah, that, they would throw, throw, it. They yeah. would throw it in our face. They would, but nowadays they won't. I can't tell if that's an intentional effort. Some people would accredit that to the government knowing case numbers do not look good, so they just don't publish it front stage anymore. Or case numbers just don't matter. But I think case numbers do matter. If that's where mutations can exist, that's where long COVID will exist. There are two hundred and fifty-one thousand active cases. Yeah, that's. I don't know. I think, think one thousand. Only admitted to hospital. I, I don't mind. I think they should take it down to 200k. I don't know. It, look, the more case numbers... No. no the more case yeah. numbers, the more space for mutations, and the more chances of long COVID. But, That's the thing. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, it genuinely doesn't matter. 
Because I feel like no matter what happens here, something will, like most of the mutants that came, like Delta and whatever the other one was called, I got Omicron. Yeah, Omicron. They didn't originate here. Fair they point. originated from our overseas, and they still came here, yep. even though we were under like really tough restrictions. Yep. So what I realized is it doesn't matter. It will if it will mutate, it will mutate somewhere else or here and still end up here. Well, fair point. So. How about long COVID then? Because it's still an unknown thing. It's not enough time. I don't know. Like I agree with like I agree with what doctors are saying. You know, at this point, like just be ready to live with it for the next ten years. I I'm ready no, to. No, that's fine. That's fine. I I, I understand it will be like here too, for a long time. They, I don't know. I feel like they they too a bit too let's say laissez faire right now. Yeah, the way I see it is like as long as vaccinations are stable at the rate they are, like every you know like like how we have to keep doing it. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, that's a bad thing. But as long, but as long as you you know enough people keep going and getting that booster every year, I feel like eventually it will run out and taper off. Yeah, that's isn't that how like other isn't that like how other diseases work? Yep. That as long as people keep getting like the vaccination over a certain time, they it just won't affect them and it'll just slowly die off That's and taper off. the plan. Off. The plan is to get it. Look, okay. The plan was to get it to become endemic, but I've, I've, look, you look at okay. Winter, if cases increase, then it's obviously not an endemic um, virus. Then because endemic means stays the same level, general level. But uh. Yeah, but it's a new disease. Yeah, I know. It's like. I think it's significantly but better it than it was. Doesn't it throw you off that some people act like it's over, like they won, even though I actively won. told you that people don't wear masks before I, I left the house. And it throws me off. I, I know they do that, yeah. but at the same time, I don't. I think what the government doing is doing is right. I don't think restrictions are the way to go. I personally don't yeah. think they're the way to go. Fair enough. I, their personal opinion. So you can put for me. Uh, what was the question? I, I can't even remember. Neutral. The, uh, this is federal government, oh, by the way. Neutral? Yeah. I agree that they shouldn't restrict. Anyway, next one. Sure. How much of a problem is corruption in Australia today? The corruption? Corruption. Corruption. Like, um, you know, dirty deals. <laughs> so, sh- what is the question? We should increase. No, how much corruption? How much of a problem is corruption in Australia today? How much? Oh. Of a like, do you think it's pervasive? Do you think you can't but go? But the to- issue is, it's not good corruption if I know about it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so you're gonna enough. answer very much of a problem, but you have no evidence because if there was evidence, it would not be good corruption. Exactly. I don't know what's going on. Other than what happens, like in an ICAC thing, or what pops up on the news, but I can't even trust the news. Just whatever comes up through ICAC, that's the only thing I can trust. Next no, one. There, but there is know. no federal like. Yeah, there's not. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, oh, I was talking about state. This I was is talking federal. About state. Next one. Do you approve of the government's recently released budget, federal budget? Do no, no. Didn't look at it. Yeah, most people didn't. Uh, regardless of the party you intend to support, how likely would you support the Liberal National Coalition? From May zero to one. Sorry, zero to ten. Well, I told you. I don't. I don't think there would be a difference if I voted. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. How trustworthy do you find Adam Bant? Who the hell is that? Don't know. Leader of the Green. How trusty would you? How oh. trusty would you find Anthony Albanese, the Honorable Anthony Albanese MP? The only thing I know about him was he was in a car accident. <laughs> Does that make him trustworthy? How trustworthy do you find the Honorable Scott Morrison MP? And before, but, uh, you, you know, in one of friendly Jordan's... I I distrust. His something about his face is distrustful. Is that yeah. very cool? uh, is, Speaking about that, in the recent friendly Joy's video, like. <laughs> One of his, one of, one of what he said was like, to, sh- to make people not trust Scott Morrison is to basically just show a picture of his face. Don't say that. Anyway, yeah. uh, or something like some that. Some quality on his face. I don't know what it is that makes me feel like it's very, he, like it's very distrustful. I'm gonna answer this question for Arjun since he. Since and I've he's always been... felt bad for France. Anyway, here's the poor, poor France. Here's... You know, Macron, there's a chance Macron might be the first French president to be re-elected since 2002. Now he will lose the election, who knows? Really? He's being re-elected. What French. the hell, actually? Yeah, French I could have sworn French there were people out on the streets with, like, signs. Arjun, and really the only alternative protests. to Macron right now is a far-right candidate. The centre-right doesn't like her, the centre doesn't like her, centre-left oh, okay. don't like her. I don't know about French politics. All I, but I can, str- like, 
really vividly remember. Yeah, like, no, no, there was he has had like there five big di- different strikes for different issues. There's big protests. COVID, but the only, oil, but the tax, only opponent he has. So many people. The only opponent he has is a far right bloody woman who who he lost against him last time. That's the only yeah, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's not realistic. Yeah. I'm saying it's crazy. No, it's, that it's, it's someone crazy. who gets striked against the population for yeah. a different issue every month yeah. is somehow gonna be reelected. He could get reelected. He it's might like not. the French just enjoy yelling at him. He might not. Yeah. I guess the French the French believe they want to have someone who can, they can hate loudly rather than someone who just think, uh, who crush on hate. Anyway, uh, I know yeah. the empirical evidence for this one. Because there's voting booth numbers, and the number is around this one, this one's oh. around here, and this one's around here. How competent do you find Anthony? I did give, from, from my own, I did give like a bit up of one. Well, it's, but it's you marginal, did choose so the same, I did choose the same number as you did for the it's coalition marginal. one. Anyway, yeah. uh, Arjun, how, how, how competent do you find this man? He looks a bit different than he did 10 years ago. Okay, I didn't even know you were streaming this entire time. Oh my now, god. <laughs> now I've come. <laughs> Now I see it. Anyway, <laughs> don't know, don't know. I mean, he, got, he crashed, so I don't think he's oh, competent. Okay, let's go back then. We'll go back. And I'll put in your details for you. Uh, stuff it. I'll put in your details for you. Um, I'm, I'd... <laughs> oh, hey, I'm not eligible I am to work. eligible to work. I haven't, no. de- I haven't decided. Oh, yeah, that's for this. Uh... I... I don't know, other party. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you know, I put liberal. Sure. Uh, for upper Just house, because right? my parents vote them. That's the only reason why I vote house. them. I haven't decided yet. Which party you vote for? Our party. I don't remember. Oh, that's the last. Don't give a shit. Uh, was Arjun eligible to vote for last, no, in last election? No. So no. that's an option. Not eligible. Uh... Uh... No, not, not for the current one. For the last one. <laughs> Yeah. I don't give a shit. Hey, I am eligible to vote. Um, no, you haven't registered. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I voted for state, so I am registered, right? Wow. No, you didn't vote for state. You voted for local government. Um, yeah. Am I registered or not? I don't know. You are, yes. You if you voted, yes. Okay. Okay, fine. I changed all the. Or Australia Post somehow. Australia Post is horrible. I think we can do it. They can never seem to send anything in the right condition or at the right time. The fact that we have to use them for letters yep. suck. I think we should just improve it. I think we can improve it. No, I think we should privatize the postal I don't think industry. we should. I think that decreases no, I also access. Don't think we should. That would decrease access. I don't, I don't know, but I want my mail in an orderly time and fix, in right fix condition. Fix it then. You don't need to privatize it. Fix it. I don't care. Privatize it. Fix it, bro. What's I'm it called? Still... Ostrac. No. What? Star what the Trek. hell is it called? Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. Star, Star Trek, yeah. Not Star Trek. No. It would be know. useful Star if they Trek. teleported things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Arjun, I'll put you under professional. No. no, stop, 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 stop. I want my prof- I want this page to be very active. I like very no active. No more, you bastard. But, no, go other. I can't put anything under other. No, stop! Stop! Go there, let me read everything. Go ahead. You'll find there's no law. I chose professional because that's the closest thing you add. Yeah, put professional. You bastard already did that before, and then you're like, no. <laughs> God. Christ. Go to M. If yeah. M is there, that's. I'm looking for it. Uh, where yeah, it? that. Christ. Is it uncomfortable that I'm putting all your details are you even saying a word? <laughs> Was it 2003 or 2? 2002, Jesus. Christ. 2003 is like kids. <laughs> How old were you in 2003? Uh, what are the ethnic or cultural origins? Of your ancestors. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know my ancestors. Who are my ancestors? Do you not think your ancestors were Indian in some sort? They're probably African, right? 20,000 years ago? Anyway, I think there's four people in your household and only one of them is under 15. Uh, is there five? Of all... Okay, I thought you said everyone in the house. Okay. 
Go to range. I actually do not know where you land no. on this. Because this is collective income for you, your mother, your father. You can put 1,000 to 1,249. 1,000. It's in the middle. 52k to 64k. That can't be true. This is... All, oh, wait, this is what? all income. You. Oh, oh, sorry, for his family. It's all you. No, me. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. I thought that's what they were asking. I also that misinterpreted that one. Yeah, anyway. Uh, James, how I just thought for interested? the whole house. How frequently do you follow news, really? Several times a month? Several times a week? No, 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 no. You oh. should put rarely or never. Unless it's a really wacky news. I like, guarantee that you have not done any of these. I guarantee you have not done any of these. I will bet. You have not done wait, 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 wait. I guarantee it. In 12 months, from ne- from last April to now, you have not done any of these. I guarantee okay. I, I was I was going to say, when was the last time I went on change.org? But I can't even remember when I did that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> taxes, that is true. <laughs> you have taxes and petrol. So like... Actually, you know, technically that's a tax too. Just taxes. Let me see. So I need to check my. Where am I? I was distracted. See, I told you I would be really close to the center of access. I don't like how close I'm to Labour Party. Because, because you do not understand what Labour Party actually is. What you hear is like the <laughs> weirdest. Mis- see, fifty percent, fifty percent. Yeah, because I've always thought Labour Party was like the communist Australian. They're not. They have <laughs> never been. The Communist Party and has been that. Liberal Party is like the capitalist Australia. Labour is capitalist. And the Greens is like the hippie Australia. The Greens are no longer hippies. They're somehow like a socialist party that won't call themselves socialists, which is weird. <laughs> okay, like, but I never used I'm to happy that I am... Each of them is like 50%. So what I did say was true. I am yeah. effectively... No matter who gets elected, I just won't be bothered. Yep, basically. Yay. That's the state I that's want it. to stay for the you rest of my life. You know you're only dead, but don't care for almost 90% of the questions, though. Just that's fact. I don't <laughs> care. That's I don't correct. know enough to care. That's correct. All, so all, that's all, true. All I'm I am a mindless sheep, William. All I'm saying is I follow the government. All I'm saying is Labour is a lot more socially conservative than people would think. Because I know. Yeah, so Everyone, you my know. parents have ingrained it into me that labor doesn't work for the middle income that they're like communist hippies who only help like people like my neighbors smoke drugs and coast on government yeah but it's what they told me my entire life i know and now it's hard to remove that (laughs) now whenever i see labor i just think of communists (laughs) that's all that goes in my head look if it helps and my younger brother is going to be the same so, if it helps, well, I look under my bed for communists every night. Can't find any. <laughs> and apparently, liberals are like the best for middle income. That's all I know. Uh, I don't know if they are, but that's what my parents believe, and that's what they've no, taught. The truth me. is, they're great for for top income. I think both major parties love the middle income because they're the swing voters. That's why both major parties <laughs> love the middle income. Yeah. Anyway, let let let's wait the results. Ten, ten. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, All these matter to you, Arjun. 10, 10, 10. You put law and order to zero. <laughs> you you, you want want anarchy? anarchy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that changed nothing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's download the app. Yay. Woo. Let's download the app. Glad to Screw know up. that I'm a fence sitter. Yep. You know, that's, that's what life should be. Just be a fence hit. I feel like that's the greatest you so could ever do. There's fence sitting and then there's being a swing voter who can be convinced. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to be a fence hit. I want to be as unaffected by government as possible. To do that, you should move to a low-tax country like Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but then women are like actively hated there. are a lot of women. Yeah, but I assume... I mean, the goal is to get married, unless they create like a really realistic female robot. That's been my goal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're stealing my goals. I say everything I do, like, that's my I, goal. I, that's I'm my goal. It. Anything that comes out of my mouth, you're like, that's my goal. I, I'm calling cap and bullshit you're all always, over that. You, you just like hear my ideas. Right? You just hear my ideas and think, that's a great <laughs> idea. 
And then you say, you stole my idea. I, my whole no, life I'm calling you out. My whole lifeline has been campaign. I you bet you, you spend your entire life at the patent office, <laughs> listening to people trying to apply patents and say, <laughs> you stole my idea. Honestly, why else do you think I'm going to Canberra? No, uh, <laughs> I want to work in the patent office. No, uh, I see. I I always thought if I ever got rich, the best thing to do is become a patent troll. <laughs> and I think patent trolls are amazing. They get money for doing nothing. I think patent trolls deserve to get shot. No, um, they they are. So like something big, like involving the internet, but because you can sue Google, people. Amazon. Yeah, I know, but they get just some money. <laughs> I know, but they're, they're like lawyers' wet oh, dream. The patent I trolls think. are just formal scal scal scalpers. They're just scalpers who steal IP. That's all they do. They're scalpers. I mean, they IP. didn't steal IP. They just no, they made steal it. They, they IP it. way before people thought about yeah. it. Well, scalpers so don't steal didn't... items, but they buy it and sell it at a remarkable up uh, up price. They are like they are like the epitome. Of capitalist society, they somehow managed to own thought. Well, I patent trolls, that they actually stifle creativity and growth. I know, but I'm <laughs> saying it's such a cushy and fun life. I, I and mean, people would actively hate me. I want, like, honestly, hate me so much that they would want me dead. I want there but to still, be. I want there to be a Hollywood movie where the villain's not like this evil billionaire, but it's a patent troll or a scalper. That, that's realistic. <laughs> Beta draws are amazing. <laughs> I think they're evil. Uh, you can't tell me that that's not a genius idea. <laughs> to pay them a bunch of ideas and hope that one of them gets picked up by a big company and then sue the hell out of that company. And you know the common people will stand up for you because it's a small guy in a big company. Small guys always win. Unless it's something so ridiculous. So in my head right now, I'm picturing what is it? You are one of those people who what is it? You you write a story, then you sue Disney when they when they have a story a bit similar to yours. <laughs> hey, that's a lot harder to defend. <laughs> stories are a lot harder to defend because yeah, let's be honest, Disney stories story. are just cliches on cliches. Yeah. And anyone can argue about their intellectual freedom to use cliche. Wait, did it have to Shrek but, though? Didn't someone sue saying they wrote the original story of Shrek and DreamWorks just stole it? Did I don't know. But I will tell you this, even though companies know it's fake, they will still choose to settle. Because it's cheaper and takes less time? N not many of them would actually decide to go to court. They'll just settle. Because they know they can squash this problem with money. Basically. Oh, then, then you both could win. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. If it's something so ludicrous, they probably would. But if it's something which can... It's not, like, really ludicrous that a jury or, like, a judge will decide, sorry. What, yeah. what do you end up doing? I don't know why what, I said that. What's not even being a patent troll right now? I'm not rich. <laughs> and I'm not intelligent. <laughs> Why are you going to get the intelligence if you're going to patent troll? And I honestly think I was born too late for anything relevant in the internet age. Whatever has been is going to become popular or has already been patented has already been done, was yeah. done during the done. internet craze. Yeah. I mean, if I did something for AI... But I don't know enough about AI do to patent. Do it for technology that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Surely the patent office will let you do that. Um. <laughs> like a bot. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's patent the I. I don't know if anyone's patented the idea for cryo sleep. We well, need to do that. It's unironically, an idea that you should patent right now, and that's the idea of VR re-simulation. So you've seen the video of, of the video, uh, you can become Will Smith as he slapped Chris Rock. Just reliving no. history using VR. I don't know. I, I, you, you know what? I'm going to actively do this. I'm going to actively patent the idea of cryosleep. <laughs> so that 200, 300 years from now, I can actively 
I don't know. My descendants can get some money. Don't I don't know if parents... You can renew it, can't you? Yeah, I think. Oh, wait, no, wait, that depends. I mean... Oh, I don't, I don't actually know. I assume you can renew it. Because I don't think, like... Like, what would patent owners do then, 20 years later? No, but the whole point of them expiring is to allow... Still, so they don't stifle creativity. Ah. Oh. That sucks. That's why generic things exist, though. But that's, 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 that's sucks for one individual to, and benefits the rest of mankind. <laughs> no, no, no. The minute my pattern runs out, I'll get, like, my son to do a pattern of the same thing. When he dies, his son will do it. Eventually, till one day, you know, it's done and dusted. I'm like, really glad it, you didn't it actually happen and we can sue. I'm really glad you didn't patent penicillin or something or else <laughs> we would, no one would ever have penicillin at a good price. And penicillin. Um, Damn, diabetes. that's too old. <laughs> that's insulin. I am thinking about insul insulin. What's penicillin? Penicillin I thought was painkillers. Is it? Probably. Is it, I don't oh, know. No, antibiotics. Yeah, for, oh, yeah, maybe for good, yeah. Yeah, you, you grew it was up for like this. Plague, I think. I'll, I'll accept you on face value. You should, you should have patented the piano. One has been going on for too long. Alright, I think we need to end it. With what? With a knife? With an axe? How are you going to end the piano? No, 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 no. We should bring in a new instrument. The Argent Like, completely new. The Argent phone. And then let that continue for a thousand years. Like, um... The rotating tuba. Like the sound you make when you like hit your hands on a table. And that's an instrument to you. Yeah, it is. Have you seen like tr people who are truly adept at it? They can make it sound like drums. Can they make it sound like can can they can they play Beethoven on it? What would Beethoven on drums sound like? That's right, if they can't. <laughs> Beethoven's lame anyway. I legitimately think every piano competition sucks. <laughs> like you go there just to repeat Beethoven and shit like that. Come up with your own crap. <laughs> I, How lame. I, I didn't create, writing music How can we ever have another Beethoven if all people do is repeat Beethoven? I get what you mean. <laughs> writing music is hard, mate. What if you want to just show off? You don't want to be creative. You just want to show no, off. No, that's, that's stupid. You know, Beethoven should patent his music. He's, there were some difficulties. He can't, though, because he's not an Australian citizen. That's the only reason stopping him. Does, does Beethoven have children? I don't know. He probably did, but he's is, is there a living Beethoven heir? I don't know, Arthur. It seems like a dystopian world where just because this idea has been done like 100 years ago in the past, now we can't do it. So I can't use Beethoven music or something. But I mean, have you seen how copyright law works for Beethoven? Individual yeah. orchestras have copyrighted their own rendition. Yeah. I think that's even more shitty. That is shitty, yeah. I think it should be public yeah. domain if you use public domain. Yeah, because I think that's how it works with pictures. Yeah. If you take a picture of a painting that's in public domain, you don't own the copyright to, yeah. like, the image. You if it's own, just a painting. You can't own whatever adjustments or, like, you made a new image or, I don't know, of course we decide that. But I feel like these orchestras don't add anything. They add like one chime in the back. What about interpretation? They're interpreting that it's an original work? No, I mean like, like the, like the you way you... Like you several yeah, you, you hold this note a bit longer to add effect, or you play this one more softly. That's interpretation. I don't know. I, I think it's scummy. I think it should all just be public domain. Oh, uh, it's weird. Next one. Uh, should the Bible be in the public domain? <laughs> <laughs> Who is copywriting the Bible? The author, God, no, um, the author, Joseph. I don't know who wrote the Bible, I did. I want my royalties. I won one day to hear, like, uh, uh, like George R. R. Martin. I wish he would, like, one day say a quote, like, I wish I could one day write a fictional writing as in depth as the Bible. That that day, I think I'll celebrate. Like I think I'll like. Some beer. Yeah, <laughs> I I that's amazing. I I wish you would say that. Just, I wish 
Martin Scorsese said what he said about Morbius was true. That Wait, would be such a fun, no. <laughs> that would be such a fun thing. I, I I would have so much fun. Damn. I want to hear it come out of Martin Scorsese's mouth. How much money do you have to pay um, George R. R. Martin to say that? Like two thousand dollars, twenty k. Anything. What is he even doing now? Writing. He did Elden Ring, right? That's Isn't all. He writing. I thought he does one more book. To I know he wrote he Elden Ring. I thought that was the latest thing he did. Uh, he yeah, wrote Elden Ring. Yeah, but he has a novel work in progress because. But people were. That work in progress has been going on for like the last ten years. Yeah, basically. Years. Yeah. People are scared that he'll die before he comes out. And I've never even read The World of Ice and Fire. Isn't that what it's called? A Song of Ice What is it song, called? Song of Ice and Fire, I think. Song of Ice and I Fire. Think, I think I've never even know. read it. Is it even that good? I don't read books. People <laughs> are saying George R. R. Martin's crazy. I've never watched uh, whatever yeah, the hell is Game of Thrones. I've never read Song of Ice and Fire. I I, I haven't played Elden Ring. I, I've never been exposed to any of his work. Okay, so, so when people say he's like the greatest writer, I don't get it. People say he's the world's greatest writer. I did not know that. I don't know. I, I, I don't have any fiction writer. All I'm saying is, uh, according to I think you want to know who I think is underrated. Who? I think Su- C. S. Lewis is underrated. He's dead though. Yeah, but I think he's underrated. He hasn't written anything. And people talk about J. R. Tolkien, uh, whoever wrote Star Wars. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know him. It wasn't George Lucas or some writer, man. George Lucas did the films, yeah, right? Yeah, he directed it, yeah. Oh, yeah, you tell me the Star Wars book. It. Are you going to tell me there was a Star Wars novel he adapted? No, whoever wrote the... Whoever the wrote the... Yeah. The screenplay. It was not George... Yeah, was it, it wasn't, George it wasn't, Lucas? It wasn't. I don't think it was George Lucas. I thought it was someone else. Wait, was, if it was George Lucas, then... Hatton George Austin. Lucas basically did a Batman. <laughs> you know, like how Batman was written by someone else... And then, like, Bob Kane stole it, right? That's who it was. Something like that. Let's see who wrote And, like, oh, the guy who wrote writer. Batman. Sorry. George Lucas oh, was a writer. okay. Yeah. Sorry, he was... He... But he didn't... He was very inspired by... Okay. Movie. But I, really, I heard the last movie was shit, so I don't yeah. care. Oh, George Lucas stopped doing the screenwriting after the first one. Every other thing... Everything else after the first one was... He was not the screenwriter. He wasn't even the I, director. I did recently watch... I did recently watch like the latest guys. What time I said Sky Wars, <laughs> Star oh, Wars. Did I? <laughs> the one you know where like that scavenger becomes the new Jedi, the... and like I know what Luke talking. Skywalker's grandson becomes evil. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. And like they the fight. Boy. I just thought it was weird. Uh, because I was always under the conception that the Jedi's won. Yeah, How did win. the Jedi's lose so much then? Well, I thought that was the whole point, right? He beats the Darth Vader and yes. Jedi's win. Yep, basically. So how are the Jedi's so dead? Because they're shitty. Also, like, you... if they won, how is there like only Wait, one you, Jedi you want, left? Do you, you want the in-plot reason or you want the real life? Hey, what the hell happened in a hundred years massacre also hasn't been a hundred years but uh less than that the real life reason is that um jj abrams really did not want to write a new story he just wanted to take the original story and redo it and the original story the jedi was on the back foot that's basically the real life reason because it okay. basically took because it just, it just made no, it's like it's like it's like finding out that pluto isn't a planet you know <laughs> It's like, it's like, what the hell? I've never watched a Star Wars movie, and everyone every has told me is like, Jedi's win, and like, the Sith lose. That's all I know about the damn show. And the first movie I watched, there's like, none of them alive. Yeah. Basically. So that, after that, I decided I'm watching Star Wars ever again. I don't believe Star it's too complicated for me to enter. You should you should read the books. I haven't. I don't recommend anyone read the books, but you should. Can I despise you? No. Uh, now Star Trek, on the other hand. <laughs> Do you like Star Trek? I don't also know anything about. It. <laughs> My parents watched it, and they don't know either. So. Wait, do I sound like a robot right now? I've just given. No. Yep. Yeah.
Christ. My internet has gone crazy, he's gone crazy tonight, ba bum bum. Crazy, crazy, crazy internet. Crazy internet, do crazy things you say, sir. Let's connect again on my phone, you hear only a one way conversation. I forgot you can't plug in that. Hey kid, uh, this is the outro for the podcast. I've been William Surname. Uh, you can find me at Understood Forts at Understood Forts. Have a good day, kids.